Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, part 34, I'm pretty sure we're on now, guys. So, it's part 34, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I um, I thought it'd be fun to do an extra long part today, because I did miss last week's Witcher part. And I know a few people were like, hey, you know, what, what are you doing? But I I, um, I was busy, I had stuff to do. But you know, I think I'm going to do an extra long part today. And um, basically what I want to do today is a load of the markers. And because, well, you know, it's an extra long part, I might even be able to fit in uh, the Yennefer quest and maybe even some other quests. So we'll have to see. But I do want to do some of these markers. I want to get them out of the way. I've decided to do the tactic that we discussed before. I'm going to go from, like, basically... It's not going to take that long, I think. It might take a while, who knows. But I think I'm going to go from, like, here to down here... Hmm, maybe I'll go over there as well. I could go from like, I'm, I may as well do this one because I'm almost there. I could go from here, to here, to here, to here, to like here, to right across. It'd probably be better to just go from like, basically start where I am now, go right across to that top bit, go back down, go across, do that one, do all these sort of ones, you know, and then eventually get all the way back to there, then go down again, then just go there. Um, you, you see what I mean. I'm basically gonna just do a load of markers, get loads of stuff, get them out of the way. It saves it for later on, and I'm also gonna try and do a quest as well. Obviously, I need a boat for this. It's basically just, from what I'm guessing, gonna be a lot of hidden treasures. Um, that, that's the main sort of gist of what I reckon it's gonna be. Um, sorry, I just uh, quickly checked if I was recording. <laughs> but no, I, I actually have a few things to talk to you guys about, so I'm not sure how much skipping there's going to be. But first of all, four barrels of salted herring, eight barrels of drinking water, three barrels of, barrels of vodka, five barrels of whale blubber, four barrels of fur and rabbit pelts, one chest of various treasures worth a sum total of 1,000 Nilfgaardian florins. The chest is sealed. If the seal is found to be broken upon delivery, no payment shall be issued. Right. <clears throat> right, <laughs> sorry. Let's go get this treasure. So no, I um, I have some stuff I want to talk to you guys. Hang on. Where's my horn wall hole? Ow! Right, I'm gonna stay underwater. Let me just get this treasure. So no, I do have a few things I wanted to talk to you guys about because I had some um. Right, there you go. Just deal with those guys. That that would have been annoying. So, uh, no, I, I do have a few things. So, let me think about it all. Um, oh. Ooh, I got like a Nilfgaardian Special Forces insignia. That's quite cool. wonder if I can give that to someone later on. So, I was considering about my ending for The Witcher 3, and I'm not sure whether to go with the... Uh, um, I don't really want to spoil it for anyone that might be watching that hasn't played, because I'm sure some people... You know, out of everyone that's watched, I'm sure there's bound to be maybe even one person, you know? That, um, that might not have played, but it's either the, the Witcher style ending, I'm sure you know about who I'm talking about, or the um, ruler ending, <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about for a certain character. Um, but no, I'm considering which ending is actually more canon, because obviously I prefer the Witcher style ending like most people do, I feel, like, I feel like most people prefer that one, I think that's safe to say. But I, I think, I feel like the more canon to the games, definitely not the books, but to the games, the way it's built up and the way the ending is handled, is definitely the ruler one. And I definitely might be a bit strong, but basically, if you give the character both the options, they seem to go for the ruler one. And I'm purposely avoiding the, the word so it doesn't give it away. But yeah, I'll stop talking about endings, because I don't want to spoil everything. Um, but yeah, just like uh, sort of a food for thought type thing. Um, there's another thing that I want to try and do. I was basically considering doing Roach's Path, because it's something I talked about a long time ago. I've um, been talking about it a bit on Twitter with you guys. I had a few ideas. I've basically... I'm not sure what I'm going to do, to be honest, guys. My, my idea at the moment is to introduce another video every week, basically. So I'm going to have, like... Uh, how many videos? Three a week. I'm going to have the Witcher part, the Witcher lore, or whatever that is. You know, the, the bigger video. Oh, Jesus. I need to- oh, yeah, I need to go sell stuff. I completely forgot about that. Um, someone got annoyed that, about how much I carry. But you know what? It's a Witcher on the path. I also can't be asked to go back to traders all the time. Yeah, but now, nah, yeah. If, if I'm getting max carry weight, and I'm, uh, hang on, I may- I may even need to go to my, like, stash and put stuff in there. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need to go to my stash. I tell you what, I'll sort that all out quickly. Right. World map. There is more mark- there is more markers here, though. I would actually, uh, I guess my stash is actually, is only down here. The problem is, is that 
I kind of want to go and sell stuff at an armorer's, but I can't go to the one up there or it kickstarts the King's Gambit. But no, I was planning to do three videos a week, so um, the extra video a week could be basically anything. I thought it could be like uh, maybe a video discussing some lore for the School of the Lesson that I'm developing. You know, like a little story from that or something. It could be some witch lore that doesn't quite sort of fit into a full video, so a shorter version of that. Or it could be, you know, a Witcher 2 Roach's Path part. It could also be like, you know, I don't know, Thronebreaker. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to commit to that right now or, or say that that's what's happening. But, you know, what I'm saying is that it could be. You know, what? I'd honestly rather drop some, like, pickaxe or some crap. Uh, let's have a look. Any of these just not worth anything? What? Why are these worth so much? Right, that'll do. Is there any merchants that I can just quickly sell some stuff to that I don't actually want or want to keep? There is. I can just, I can sell him armor. I don't care. I don't need to get the maximum amount of money. I'm sure I'll regret saying that later on. Do you know what? I'm still not even sure if selling to armorers gets you more money. Apparently it doesn't Tucson, hence keeping the swords. But everyone else, you know Show what? You. Who cares? Um, hmm. Do you have any hide? That weighs a lot, right? Uh, not really. Um, that weighs a little bit. I've almost, I've almost, okay, we, we can't really sell much to this guy, to be honest. Okay, we can sell the crappy pickaxe, oh, he doesn't take it, god damn it. Um, I kind of just want to drop the pickaxes, I don't even know why I picked them up, really. Oh, we can sell all the boots, because they're worth, like, nothing. Right, there you go. Let's go pick up all the other stuff we just dropped. Apart oh, I don't really want to, I just dropped a pickaxe and some boots. Oh. I need to find someone else to sell stuff to, actually. Hey. Tell you what, I'll pick it all up. Oh, God damn it. I can drop one pair of boots. Um, which pair? That is that worth much? I need to drop whatever's heavy but not expensive. You know what that'll do. They sell. They, we just established how much they sell for. I'm gonna go and put some stuff in my storage anyway, because I have a few swords that are gonna add to the collection. Okay, I have made it to the storage. Right, we're putting the swords in. I'm sort of tempted to put armor in that's, you know, like this. But also, it's it's not really worth that much. I don't I don't really care. If, unless it's like nearly a thousand gold, I kind of want to save it, you know. Just in case that two something is the case. And even if not, you know, I like collecting it because I can sell it when I actually need it. You know, it, it, it's better, okay? You know what? It's better. But no, that third video a week I thought could be quite fun for like Witcher parts and stuff. Well, not Witcher parts, like Roach's stuff. It'd be completely separate to the other videos, but it would be to do with the Witcher, obviously. So yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys think of that. I'm sure you would be wanting another video every week but i want to see what you think about that specific idea so it could basically be anything i kind of want to make at that time uh so i'm gonna go back here is my boat still just in the middle of nowhere i don't know i need to get a boat anyway and i know for a fact that there is an armorer here so i want to sell to him i know there's one at care trolder but i can't go there or it kickstarts that quest it's right you, you, you let me sell yeah. all my crap to you also can you make hang on God damn it. So, I want to sell this, 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 this. I just want to sell everything. Okay, all the heavy armor. God damn it. Okay, we've really sold a lot of stuff to this guy. I actually think I need to go and find another smith just to sell some more stuff. Um, <laughs> just because I have so much. I can't remember all the smiths in Skelliga are, though. I know there's one, obviously, where I am now. Hang on, there's an armorer down there. That'll do. I thought there was two here. Storm, damn it. Greetings. So, okay. Oh, I, can, I haven't gone to this guy yet. Okay, well, we'll have to do that. Right, let me sell the stuff I can't actually sell to anyone else, apparently. Oh, maybe I could have sold the pickaxe. I guess the X doesn't mean... Okay, whatever. I kind of want to sell some of these shirts. They are actually worth quite a bit of money. Not like, sorry, they're worth quite a bit of weight. Kind of would rather sell a few more terrible boots before just... Okay, can I sell these? Ugh. God damn it. Right, I think that's prob prob you know, it's probably enough. It's not... It's not everything I wanted to sell. But you know what? I have a hundred carry away. I can Gwent this guy real quick. I'm just gonna skip through the convo. What would you say to a few no, rounds of Gwent? 
Okay, right, we'll Gwent him real quick. We'll get it done quick. Then we'll continue with the markers. But I feel like that's good. I sold some stuff. I like the idea of sorting stuff out, you know? Um, okay, what am I getting rid of here? Okay, he's playing Shilard. Um, fine. I raise you a Deekstra. Might get a decoy. I don't. Okay, I do want to sort of stay ahead of him. Fine. You want to try and you want to try and overpower me? No. And you know what? Boom. He's going to try and skip on me. Well, I'll put a spy down, yeah. Either or. I'll just keep giving him spies. Apparently there is no limit to the cards you can hold in your hand in this game. Like, that is crazy to me. Okay, I say we just revive some spies. Well, Deekstra. Well, we could revive the other one. I'm sort of curious to check. We'll revive the other one, why not? Get every card we own. Yeah, it does look like we can just <laughs> pretty much do this forever. Really? Oh my god. Look how many... Look how... Th that is unbelievable. Right. <laughs> you know what else I'm going to do, guys? Can I draw every card in my deck? I'm making play everything. Yeah, there is there is no limit. Amazing. I, d I genuinely didn't know that. I, th I just assumed there would be. I'd never really bothered to sort of try and risk it, you know? Right, let's put all our golds down. All our golds at the same time. I think. Did I play one last? No, I played Syria in that last time. Oh, well. I can get so many points this round, guys. This is going to be a big point round. I think Rose still have limits, though. So maybe I should focus on that first. Okay. I mean, he's got a pretty um pretty high round there, but it's still not quite, you know, what I'm going to get, I think. I wonder how high I can get it. Okay. I can't get the other one of these, which is annoying. So I'm not sure how... I'm actually not sure if I'll beat my other record. I might with these two. Okay, let's see just how high I can get. I'm kind of curious. You know, I, I did say I wasn't going to mess around, but I'm going to mess around. So, um, yeah, basically what I just said. Um, put some more of these golds down. I don't know what the highest I've ever had is. I want, uh, Maybe over 300 I haven't got to. Like, I, th I, don't th I think over 300 is something I've never done. Maybe. Is it even possible to get over 300? Like, I'm looking right now. 260. Is that the highest I've ever had? I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's horrible weather. So I sold a bunch of stuff to that guy, right? I sold everything else, basically, that I could. Did I? I think I did. I'm going to go with yes. I can't even remember. I have a terrible, like, memory for stuff after I play Gwen. It just goes. So, oh, someone else actually said um, recently that I should use the... Um, the, uh, the no nude mod. Uh, and I'm still not sure because the way I see it is that what I should probably do is just edit a bit better and just like very, you know, edit edit as little as I need to, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm just skipping because I wanted to make sure I didn't get that, that horrible weather. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, basically just, just edit. I don't want to use specific words <laughs> because I know how YouTube is with specific words. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll leave those two. I'm going to go round to this one on the boat, and then I'm going to get all these ones up there, and then I'll come back round and get that one. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. But no, I I, um, I will edit probably more specifically. I just, I feel like 
taking away that element of the game, which is basically what the mod does, I'd rather have it blurred than not there at all. Because I guess, I guess mainly it's like, it is, it is a part of the game. And at the end of the day, you're seeing me kind of experience that or hearing me experience that in a way. And I don't want to just sort of take that away. So I'm not sure. I mean, honestly, guys, it would be way easier for editing and stuff. But it's like, okay, for example, say if Geralt has a sex scene, right? You know, he's having a sex scene and um, they're fully clothed. Like, that, that is kind of unimmersive, <laughs> at, the, at least I feel like it is. Um, I'm just going to park up here. I, I was going to, um, I should have just walked across. I guess I wanted the boat. What is this? Probably something I did a while ago. Um, you know, it just, I feel like that would be really, really unimmersive and just be like, what the hell are they doing? They're, they're basically, you know, I don't, I, see, I, I've already used the word. God, these guys are loud. Not good. Hang on. It's been a couple days. Get here, you. Okay, we got him. Sorry, I was just adjusting my microphone towards the end there. I wasn't trying to, uh, wasn't trying to show off. Just it felt I wanted to sit down like I, I was sitting on my leg. <laughs> Okay, well, we got all this. That's cool. No, but as I said, I do want to hear what you guys think about that third video idea and if you'd be interested in seeing Roach's Path because I, I know a lot of people haven't actually played it, which is something that um, I guess you never really think about because it, it's like, you know, you hear your Yorvith's Path. It's the one with the dragon, basically. And it's like, well, why would I bother with the other ones? Oh, hang on. Opportunity. Go down. Why isn't it working? Is it because they're harpies? Does it only work in sirens? Well, the more you know. Honestly, didn't remember. Get here. Oh, I actually didn't realize they were harpies, to be honest. But I also didn't know. Oh, no, Geralt, I clicked it once. I thought enough of you. Yeah, you also get to meet, like, the Order of the Flaming Rose and stuff. Harpies got their nest here. One thing I wondered was potentially having, like, a Witcher 2 save where I didn't kill Siegfried. And because, well, he appears in the Witcher 2 if you go Roach's Path, which I think would be quite fun to just sort of see him. But I don't know. I kind of just thought about playing it almost like an alternate timeline type thing. Where it's like, this is what could have happened if I'd gone Roach's Path. It's really cool. You get to, like, see Radovid. You get to meet the other two Viper Witches. It's, it's very, it's actually really good. It's, it's a little bit underrated. Yorvith's Path, I would say, is definitely better, which is why I did it for this playthrough and the actual playthrough. And what I would personally want my Geralt to do. But I think to still experience and see Roach's Path is very interesting because, you know, this is debated, but it's, you know, basically Roach's Path is more... Uh, connected to The Witcher 3. I, I'm not going to say more canon. I guess I'd say it probably is a little bit more canon, but it's it's more of like, you know, it, it's... Is this the Tower Out of Nowhere quest? I don't want to do this right now. Um, at least I think I think it is. I'll do it later. Right, let's go to my boat. I don't need to do that marker, right? This is a marker thing and a chatting thing, you know? No, but I... The other thing I thought about Roach's Path is because I'd be starting... Um, like, almost midway through the game. Ish. Like, not midway, but you know what I mean. Like, I'd be starting, um... Uh, where, where, where I basically decided to go Yorveths, which is almost at the end of Flotsam, or, I guess, Chapter 1. So, you, you basically, like... You, I've already played a bit of the game, and I looked back at my Witcher 2 parts, and they were only, like, an hour to half an hour. And I, and I finished it quicker, like, more quickly than I, I guess I finished, like, Velen, which is kind of crazy. The Witcher 3 is so much bigger, so it wouldn't take long is what I'm basically getting to. Um, <clears throat> so that extra video every week, it would be Roach's Path maybe every so often. And I thought it might be just fun. I don't know why my crossbow is using this. Just use, use, use default. Where is default? 
Jesus Christ. Right, there you go. I don't think I ever switch them. Maybe I do it by accident, but I never do it on purpose. There are definitely, like, there's there's loads to do with crossbows in this game that I never really explore. Um, it's kind of similar with bombs. Like, I feel like bombs and crossbows is something that I should probably explore way more. Oils, like, you know, I get it. It's just like you do a bit of extra damage depending on what you're fighting. But I don't know. I should probably use them more, and I want to try and use them more. Because um, it does feel cooler. I just feel like with bombs, the only ones that I bother using are like Dimeritium and Moondust, because those enemies are annoying <laughs> otherwise. Um, I guess Dragon's Dream, because it's so easy to get, and it's kind of like, it's very simple. But I don't know. There's also a lot of potions I don't use, I guess. I mainly just like use very particular things, and then do my Witcher stuff. Which I feel like is, at the end of the day, probably what a Witcher would would do, maybe. I don't know, I guess they probably would be trained in all of it. But I'm not sure how much of that they would actually use all the time. I guess Black Blood's a fun one too, actually. Okay, another Smuggler's Cache. See, we are getting a lot of cool stuff on this, though. Shit. Right, just kill them slowly. Hey. It's actually surprising how kind of useless drowners are underwater, considering, you know, they're like, their webbed feet and all that. Like, you can just kill them so easily. I mean, realistically, this crossbow shouldn't really fire that far underwater, but you know what? I put it down to Witcher skills. <laughs> you know, magic. A wizard did it. God, just collecting... It's like so crap, all this smuggler's catch stuff. It's never good. I mean, there might be some... I got some Draconid hide earlier, actually. It is good sometimes. I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, glowing ore. It's okay. A lot of it is crap, but I guess that's in the nature of it just being a completely random ship that fell. You know, it, all this stuff would have just been taken by some Skelligan warriors, you know? Okay. During a raid. Right, where's the next marker? Look at that, guys. We've already cleared, like... Five? I don't know. And look how close all these are. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. I've only been doing this like 20 minutes. And I did have to take like a brief interlude <laughs> to sort something out. Ah. Oh. I mean, I don't know how much of this I'm going to skip. I mean, literally as I'm talking right now, I might just skip this. So I'm... <laughs> I feel like the markers is very much just going to be right. Here's a marker I went to. Here's a marker I went to and all that. God, the volumetric clouds do not work every time. It's because I think the whole point of them is that they add the care more on clouds to Skelliger. Which is cool, but it um, doesn't really work that well. Most of the time. See, I'm not even sure if this is, like, new or not. The volumetric clouds. Because I always remember the game looking like this. You know what I mean? Like... You, you, you don't really get used to things when you've, when you've changed them for so long. I remember my initial reaction when I played The Witcher 3, I was like... Sorry, when I played The Witcher 3 with all the mods on, when I, um, when I did it for this playthrough. And it was like, oh wow, this is amazing. But now, I, I probably just... If I went back to the vanilla game, I would probably be like, oh, this looks weird. And then I'd get used to it probably very quickly. But it doesn't look that m different, you know? This... I'd say this probably looks a little bit better, you know, and that obviously that's personal taste. I know people are very much like never mod a game ever heresy, but you know, I don't see why not. I guess the game originally was made for like lower systems and stuff. Like my PC when I first got The Witcher 3 would not be able to run how I'm running it now. And for God, my Xbox wouldn't, which is what I first played the game on. Another hidden treasure. Starting to sense a theme. No. At least it's not the goddamn Fallen Knights of Velen. That marker. Stop it, Echidnas. I'm coming down. I'm going to kill you all underwater because it's easier. Where are they? Oh, they're like above me. I thought they were... Hang on. Where... I needed my potion, I think, for this one. Ugh. What's it called again? Killer Whale? I almost said Blizzard again. Like, honestly, I almost said it again. If 
vibration in my controller has shut off somehow. This feels weird. Must be the potion drinking. Once I kill all these things, I'm just gonna have to quickly um turn my controller on and off. Maybe it's because the battery's low? I don't know. Wait there. Has the audio gone weird? Tell you what, audio, I'll kill them, then I'll reload. The audio feels like I'm underwater all the time. Maybe maybe the vibration actually added way more than I realized to like my experience. Ow. Okay guys, I have no idea. Something feels weird, but I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna loot this boat and be done with it. Boat, reveal your secrets unto me. God, do I have to get like right in? No. Uh, ah. What the hell is that? Oh, is that the, the tower? Or is that the sun? Okay, I don't know. Right. Oh, God. Got it. See, I always wonder if there are extra chests, and there's almost guaranteed to be one somewhere, but I, I, I kind of feel like if it's an extra chest, it might have something good in, or it might just be trash again. Get me out of this water. Ah, oh, my, my vibration's back. Okay. Geralt, calm down. That's what it was. Because whenever you shoot the crossbow, you get like a little vibration. And I, I kept on feeling it. Sorry, I, I didn't feel it anymore, and it felt really weird. It was like I, something was missing, and I wasn't sure. I just thought, it was. is it the vibration? And then I was second guessing myself so much. Hey. Ugly bastard. Stop it. Get off my boat, you goddamn echidna. See, I always think, is it echidna or echidna? And I think it doesn't really matter. But you know, I still think it. Right, let's get to this next marker. I don't know about meeting Yennefer on Hindisfjall, girl. I need to get a drink, but I brushed my teeth like an hour ago because I didn't brush them yesterday. I forgot to. So I thought, oh crap, better brush them now. Um, and, now and now I'm sort of unsure whether to drink anything. <laughs> oh, tearing through the open sea, girl. It's always me and you, mate. You okay. come. How long is this going to take? Okay guys, I'm almost there. I'm about a hundred um, feet away. I actually never, I guess it must be feet because it's like steps, right? So like hundred steps, which is feet. I don't know, I'm gonna go with feet. A hundred distance away. <laughs> Oh, fucking what? Geralt, run, run, run. I do need to discover the marker, though, and then I leave it, and then I know I left it for a reason. Get me off this fucking boat. Okay, this marker is not possible to do, but I do have to discover it to know that I have to... That's my system. Okay, right, get me back on that boat. I don't want to sneak in. I must kill this beast one day. Please fuck off. I think it's a basilisk. Yep, that's a basilisk. Let me on. Jesus. Basilisks are rare. Especially, I guess there's the silver one in Toussaint, right? Okay, I don't think I can go up there anymore. Ugh, is, it just, is this just going to be another... Right, it doesn't matter. Let's just go. Basilisk, I'm not going to take your treasure. I'm not going to hobbit you. I'm going to kill you and then go into your cave and nick everything. I will eventually, though. You know, I'm, I'm going to hobbit him eventually, guys. I'm just saying. They sound absolutely horrible, don't they? Jesus. I guess, yeah, with monsters like this, trying to... <laughs> some guy probably just built his house in this island, thought, you know, I'm going to make my own clan. And then a basilisk came and just absolutely ruined his day. Or her day. Or, you know the day of the person. Okay, well, that was nice. 
Right, we have another marker, and based on the level of this, I'm kind of concerned about what other markers are going to appear in this area. But as I said, I've got to go to all of them. I mean, I've done it in Velen, so I know that every marker there that I haven't done yet is a marker that I um, that's too high, at least when I was there. I know when I go back, I should probably be high enough, even if I'm only like level 20... I don't know, 8, uh, I guess, or 27. I'm 23 now, nearly 24, so we'll see. Okay, a smuggler's cache. This is possible. Oh, wait, is it? Yes. I think so. Oh. Okay, can I loot? Ho! Right, let's have a look. It looks like there's just the one barrel. I think. Is there more barrels? There's another barrel over there. Sorry, chest, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Got some stuff. I do need to probably sell this somewhere at some point. Not sure where. I'm going to be collecting a lot of stuff. So we'll see. But I'm sure we'll find somewhere. I could even have a little look online. I don't think I will look online. I'm sure I can work out somewhere. I'm sure every village has someone that buys stuff, and I'll just go to all of them. Maybe it'll reset in the other armorers by the time I'm done. Okay. Okay, we got it. Swim swiftly. Well, I know I have all the markers, like, unlocked, because I've been to every signboard, right? I'm sure some of them are revealing quests, but obviously we don't even want to do those ones yet, so it's fine. Um, because we want to do the quests. Right. Um, I guess we, we head up, and then we go down kind of in like a ring, and then go down there, and then go back up. I'm trying to work out what the best way to do this is, and I probably waste time looking, you know? I should probably just go to whichever one I feel like. The front of my boat is, is really messed up. I may have to switch boats at some point. I can't even move quickly. Okay. I swear I have the thing that mean, means that I don't have the dirty lens effect. Maybe that only occurs in certain um, situations. I remember I had to, like, do this thing ages ago where I sorted out the load order of all the mods. And it was really... I had to do it manually because... And I had to, like, test it. Because for some reason, certain mods wouldn't activate if they were lower than other ones. And I had to work out what the sweet spot was of getting them all to work. Because, uh, obviously, a lot of different ones replace different textures. Not a lot of different ones. I think I have, like, one main texture mod and then um, a couple for, like, characters and stuff. I don't even know what I use. People ask me what I use, and I never really reply because I sort of have to reply the same thing every time because I don't actually know because I did it such a long time ago. I haven't really added any mods in a long time. Par, I was going to add the uh, no nudity mod for ease. And just for you guys to not have to see a blur on our screen. But to be honest, guys, when it's just full blur everywhere, that's either I'm lazy, which is uh, probably a lot of the time, or um, there's too much to sort of track, and it would take just such a long time to track. Like, for example, when I'm in a house and I'm actually controlling the character, it's not just like a still cutscene type thing. Like, that is so hard to edit. Because I'd have to track every single individual thing and you spin your camera around so much that you'd have to untrack it every time you didn't see it and stuff. And it, it, it'd just be a pain. So basically, that's why I don't do that. Ow! Horn them, Geralt! That's why I got the horn before I did these goddamn markers. Down. I clicked X to finish off. God damn it, game. I absolutely love this horn. I'm just saying. Hang on, it's underwater. Kill it. Burn it with fire. It's not working. Why does it always switch back to the goddamn magic lamp? I need to unequip that stupid... Right, hang on. Hang on, actually. You know what? I will. <laughs> Where are you, stupid magic lamp? Stop re-equipping yourself. God damn it. God damn it. This is really awkward. Like, they've made this area, like, incredibly awkward, and they filled it with goddamn sirens. Oh, echidnas. They're the same thing. No, 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 all right, close. Finish off. I, right, it's not possible. It doesn't work. It's broken. 
I'm telling you, seriously, I went right up to it then, and I slowed down, I clicked X, and it didn't work. Hey, another one coming over, huh? Hey, kidna. Horn it! Right. There's no X option. God, it makes killing sirens so much less of a pain. Jesus, I'm so glad I decided to wait until I, um... <laughs> had this goddamn horn, because I would have had to crossbow them every single time, and I would have had to crossbow like eight of them at once. Well, individually. And then they would have got back up again. Now I just click one button and they just go down. Some say it's too easy. I say, you know, maybe you shouldn't fill the game with a hundred sirens. I think that was probably it. They were like, you know what? We have so many of these smugglers cache caches, and we really like sirens and echidnas. So you know what? We'll give them a, a weapon that just makes it a little bit less of a ball ache. And I like that. Thank you, CD Project Red. I appreciate you. I see why you put it in. There's a boat. There's my boat. Okay. Marker is done. On to the next one. Whoa. Gotta tell you, these textures are really good, though, aren't they? Like, I'm not sure what is vanilla and what's not. All of it is based, like, the whole point of it is basically to up-res the existing textures to 4K. I don't even have a 4K monitor, which is probably why it looks even better, because obviously I'm running a 4K, like, screen on a lower-res monitor. It probably looked better 4K, now I think about it, but, you know, it's like, it basically looks as good as it can on this monitor, you know what I mean? I think. Maybe. Who knows? It is just a lovely looking game. It's really fun to play. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking about it recently and I thought, you know, if I, if I have to make YouTube videos on one thing, I think The Witch is probably the best, the best thing I could make them on, you know? Like, I, I thought about, you know, imagine if I made videos like the, you know, I don't know, 10,000 pound prize pool um, tournament forfeit challenge. I don't know. <laughs> it's so much random words, you know? I'm, I'm glad that I um, I don't have to do that every day, you know? Or I have to think of an idea to do with that every week. I, like, like that I, just, I just get to uh, take some time, be a witcher, stop it, goddamn drowned dead. Like, I really wanted to record The Witcher 2 recently. Like, I had, like, a, an urge to do Roach Stack, and I was very much considering it, but ultimately I thought, you know what? I'll, um, I'll leave it. Oh, I have 10,000, by the way. Um... I'll leave it because I want to talk to the the, uh, the guys, which is you guys, <laughs> about it first. See what you think. I I also like, you know, I, I, that would mean I would have to like think of other video ideas every week too. And I'm trying to give it. Uh, I do have other ideas, you know. It's just I am. Um, it would be like another law video. I want I want that to be like apparent. It'd be like a lower effort video, basically. Like the law videos take like two days. It'd have to be shorter. I actually was planning to make one, um, and then after I finished it, I realized I'd actually written way too much, and it would have been the same length as a law video and taken just as long, so I've kind of just got that sitting there now, and it's not going to be a law video, because it's not really the, the right sort of subject for it, so I just kind of have it, and it's like, oh, <laughs> and, and I could make that video, but I'm honestly, like, uh, there was other reasons, I also kind of wasn't sure if I wanted to, oh, come on, I can see more than that in there, um, I just wasn't really sure about it. I thought maybe that's not the right thing. And I'm not going to sort of, um, I'm not trying to trick people. <laughs> I'm not trying to, uh, you know, make it seem like I'm sort of like, oh yeah, I made something cool. It was, it was all right. It was an okay video. It basically had like a load of stuff from the school of the lesson. And I wrote way too much about the school of the lesson in it. And it's so long. <laughs> Like, it's, like, longer than most lore videos, I'd say. I wrote so much. I wrote, like, a little tale to different characters. I wrote, like, all about what the name of the base was called and why it was called that. I wrote about where the base was. I wrote about why the witches are unknown and all this other stuff. And it was um, a fun... It was, like, obviously non-canon, just a bit of fun type video. I'm not trying to sort of induce that into the canon anyway. I'm not trying to say it's canon. I'm, I'm just... I'm making it just genuinely for fun. Oh, fucking what? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh no, 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 no. I am, I'm stranded. Oh shit. Oh my God, how, oh my God, I don't want to swim there. Okay, everyone, I am back. I had a brief situation with my boat crashing. It was, um, it was unavoidable. <clears throat> 
So, um, yeah, it was that rock right there, that little... <laughs> no, we had a situation there, but it's fine now. I've sorted it out. I, um... I did reload a save and had to kill all the drowners again because, to be honest, the idea of having to swim that far back um, seemed like one of the worst things I would have to do in the game. So, didn't want to do that. It would have taken so much time. What the hell is going on over there? Right, I'm just going to go into war and shoot them. I, I don't want to I don't want to mess around, you know? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you know what? I need the health. This could be bad, actually. There's a lot of them. Ah, uh, don't worry. They're, they're apparently complete morons. I, I don't understand why they're so bad. Okay. Imagine trying to do, like, with upscaling on fighting underwater stuff, because they, they would just one-shot you, right? Because you can't actually defend yourself. Um, okay. I'm glad I used the, um... Killer whale. I nearly called it Blizzard again. It's like coming into my head as Blizzard, and then my brain tells me, "Oh no, that's the uh, that's the wrong one." What what am I looking for here? It's a sword. Oh, a spoils of war thing. Does that mean it's in the boat? Do I have to go in the boat? I don't think I can get in the boat. Oh no no. Can I? No. Um. Well, wherever it is, it's, it's not easy to see. Oh shit, hang on, I'm gonna die. It's alright, Geralt, don't worry. Back down again. God damn it, I can't see it anywhere. I can check further up, maybe? I just assumed it would be around the boat somewhere. Um. Ah. No. Nope. Thought might be a way to get under. Jesus Christ! It's so hard to find. Is it, like, floating on the surface? Ah! Oh, God damn it! There is definitely, like, something under there, but I can't get under there. I've swum around everywhere here. Have I checked up here? Oh, shit, I'm gonna drown again! Shoot! I have a feeling it might be up there somewhere. Here? Okay, where the, where the fuck? Ah! Turn! I found it. All that for some dark iron ore? Jesus Christ! Let me up. I need to rest for an hour. Drink some potion. Okay. Let me up. I gotta be careful my boat doesn't die, because it's very close to dying. Okay, let me rest. I just realized I'm not sure what the auto save interval is on, because uh, I might have turned that down ages ago. Gameplay? Oh my god, it's on 15 minutes! Yeah, three minutes, sure. We'll get the full, the full on. <laughs> no, none of that route. Okay, right, we got that. Right, that marker's down. We have another marker, which is where all the um, echidnas are, which is going to be fun. But what are you going to do? It's fine. We've done quite a lot of markers, though, and we've only been recording for an hour. God, an hour. But I, I haven't, I haven't, like, just done markers, and I have messed up, like, on one of the bits earlier, I think. Right. Right, we got the horn. Fuck off, magic lamp. I need to remember to unequip that. 
Like, I like how that's... I think that's actually the first thing in my pocket, too. Okay, it just doesn't work. It just literally doesn't work. I swear I used to. It's not fair, they're hiding up there, I can't get to them. Oh, oh no, I can. How do you like that silver? Nice. Yeah, stay stay that way. Don't turn around, please. Uh, okay. Oh, Dimeritium, that's pretty good. That's another marker down, a few echidnas down. We're getting a lot of, like, monster ingredients and stuff. You know what? This is all good. This is, like, resource gathering, so we don't have to do it later down the line. Oh, is that an echidna mutagen? Damn. How do I check my mutagens? I think I can... here? No, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it! Where's my echidna mutagen? An ancient leshen mutagen. I mean, how... how I mean, I'm... I'm just going to assume the greater mutagens are like 100% better. Yeah, they're double. Yeah, okay, that wasn't as good as I thought. Um, anything else on this island? It looks like there's a few, like, crates and stuff. I, I don't think they have any loot in them. Ah, that'll do. Well, that was a cool little island. It is good to get a bit of exploration in too, you know? This is what makes the Witcher the Witcher. There is so much to see. So much to do. God damn it. Okay, so I think I'm going to go here next, then go back up, because I'm heading that way anyway, so I may as well just go right down there. Um, I'm kind of scared about going through this little bit here, considering that that front part of my boat has taken a bit of a beating in recent times. Oof, Jesus. Okay. Like, what? the one bit that's red is probably the bit that I have to use the most. Like, i got to turn a lot. The kidna seem to jump on there. It's damaged. I think I'll get a new boat as soon as I can. I'm kind of concerned that it can just crash fully if that front part collapses, which does actually make sense. Okay. Almost there. Okay, I have made it. I am at the thing. Ah, you fucking echidna, man. Well, did I even... Did I, did I hit it? Okay, hang on. Oh, a drowned dead. Whatever, either or. Kill him! Ow! I'm surprised I didn't switch my bolts yet. Okay, let's get this next one. You just got to do it quickly, guys. You know, we uh, we get all these smugglers' caches, we get all the, the sweet, sweet loot, then we move on. Oh. Last one. Great. We're getting so much, like, crap. You know what? We'll be rich by the end of it, though, and Skellige will be <laughs> will be completely bare. There'll be nothing left for anyone else. But, like, apparently there was a Witcher that explored all of Skellige and literally took all of our treasures. Are we annoyed about that? Uh, why is the front of my boat so messed up? Uh, if I can just survive for these few more, I can I can get a new boat down here. Is there even a boat left there? What what happens when all the boats die? The boats go to heaven. God damn it. How do I reverse? I'm not particularly religious. I'm just, you know, maybe boats have a heaven. Who knows? Well, I'm not religious at all. But, um, yes. Who cares? Religious or not, we're all witches. Yeah. Happy witcher. Okay. Right, well, I'll, I'll see you there unless I forget to skip it. I'm, I'm not sure how 
many mistakes I'm going to make because this video is going to be so long and most of it is just going to be like watching myself get markers and skipping between it so you guys don't have to deal with it. Like, this video is an hour for me. I'm not sure how long it's going to be for you guys, like, at this point. It might be like 10 minutes in. We'll see. We're almost there. Okay, guys, we're pretty much there now. I think there's a little island with some drowners on or some drowned dead, whatever. I'm, uh, I don't really want them to break my boat, so I'm just going to, like, defend it with my body. Going to jump in the water, little weirdos? He's going to kill me as soon as I... Hang on. Oh, this is so awkward. Hang on. Like, why are you even here? Okay. I guess they really like that treasure. Maybe they were eating the guy? I, I, I mean, he looks like he might have crashed here too. I don't know. Some silver. That's pretty good. Oh, I see, I see more bad guy people. I, I want to defend my boat. I see him, hit him. Okay. Right. Be very, very careful when turning. Note to self, I am literally on the... Oh, God. In fact, this might just crash. Oh. My boat's fully healed somehow? Oh, no. No, okay. Maybe not. Um. Okay, be very, very careful. Turn sharp. Right, where's the next bit? Uh, we have one sort of in this alcove type bit, and then two up there, and then that's the full top sort of section done. I mean, Jesus Christ. It'll be quicker probably on land, uh, for the land, obviously for the land ones. Well, but what I'm saying is, like, to get markers. I guess the thing about these Skellington ones is, unlike, well, what, what happened with Novigrad... Uh, when we just had a bunch of fallen knights everywhere, we can actually do most of them, it seems. I mean, there's obviously some we've had to leave. One, so far. But most of them are just caches to get, I guess, with, like, drowners and sirens sort of hanging around. Or drowned dead, which are, you know, drowners. We'll see. I reckon we'll be able to get some Yennefer stuff in. And just to clarify, I'm not doing every single marker today. I'm just going to try and get, like, the top bit maybe done. Because that's a lot of markers. Maybe, like, up to Hindisfjall, and we can do the Yennefer mission. thing is, it's just I know that, like, after the Yennefer mission, we have one more Yennefer mission, and then we have the King's Gambit, and then we have one more sort of mission there. Uh, and then that's it for Skelliger? And I kind of want to get it done before then. Oh, my God. Let me on that boat. Jesus Christ. Oh, my Get off, get off the fucking boat! Jesus Christ, Geralt. Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh my god, what is going on? There's so many! Where can sirens take two? So echidnas only take one, but sirens take two? That's kind of an odd... Okay, I killed a lot of sirens then. I just, I think I just committed genocide. Completely by accident. Obviously. Can I get up on this boat somehow? Maybe I can, like... Hmm. I don't think I can, can I? Suddenly, there's two chet. Oh, I guess three. That's still not really much, though, considering. Oh, that was very close. Okay. Yeah, we've literally we've we've gone up on carry weight now. We've picked up so much crap. I'm gonna drop some of the terrible swords. I think. 
Can I really not loot this? Did I already loot it? Hang on, I've got so much stuff on me. Um... Can you not, like, loot underwater if you have, like, full carry weight? Is that a thing? Apparently it's a thing. Can I really not get up here? Surely I can get up. I reckon I could glitch my way up if I, um... It is a cool ship, though. It's a long ship. You don't really see these, actually, you know, like, in the water. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll try and park a bit more close to it. I don't want to uh, crash into it, obviously. Okay, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get. Oh my god! I ninjaed it. Like, absolutely ninjaed it. A lot, of, a lot of stuff here, huh? I don't think I'm meant to be here, guys. <laughs> I don't think... Oh, come on. There's so much stuff and I can't even get anything. Okay, right. Well, that was cool. Huh. I'm glad we were able to get on the ship, guys. I think that's definitely something I want to do. There is actually a few things over there I kind of want to just check out. Um, because there's... This is kind of a cool area. I'm surprised there's only one marker here. Turn. Accelerate. Can I loot any of that? There's like chests there. I kind of want to just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Because there's there's actual chests over there. Surely they wouldn't have just put them there in view and then have nothing to loot. I'm, I see stuff up there. No. Okay. Right. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Wow. Rusty Novigrad swords, huh? Only the best for doing the extra mile. Oh my god. I have so much crap. I almost don't want to... I don't really want to keep these swords. They're not even worth that much. They won't sell for anything. Hang on, how much was the Dorian sword worth? I didn't really see. I don't think it was worth much, right? No. I, I kind of just don't want to have to go back and sell stuff. I know the Gambasums are worth a lot, but they also weigh a lot. Just quickly. Ugh. So there is actually, like, loot on this island that isn't... ...marked. Oh, see, look. And that's why you look, guys! If you see something like that, you've got to go and have a look. We just got some Dimeritium in a little hidden chest. I like that. You know what? Add that to the Dimeritium list, guys. I don't know if there's a list, but remember when I first played the game and I was looking for how to get Dimeritium ore? I didn't want to do every marker. I had a look online. There was like one at the Baron's bit, I think. Put that one on. Random island in Skellige with no marker next to Longbow. Boom. Witcher George tutorials coming soon. To a YouTube near you. Right. That technically actually does work, because there is different YouTubes, depending on where you're from. Well, it's the same site, but you, you know what I mean? Like, like you basically access completely different content most of the time. Like, I don't think you can even comment on videos from certain countries, and obviously blocked in certain countries and stuff. Um, hey, Drowners, would you mind not killing my boat? I'm just going to park up a little bit further back. Uh, guarded treasure, huh? Gotta buy what? These fools? None of that. I've gone god mode today, guys. No more no more hits. See? I don't have to get hit if I don't want to. You know what? I'm gonna make a dedication. I'm not gonna get hit. Um, uh, in this particular fight. Not every fight, because it's a bit of a ball ache to pull off. Because, you know, you, you kind of can take a hit. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, that, that was unavoidable. Um, there was the sun in my eyes. It was, it was the fire. You know, it, it, it happens, and we're going to ignore that. 
You know what? It's hard to not take a hit in a massive drowner fight. I think one is pretty good. And yes, I'm counting one because I had Quen on and technically I didn't get hit. It touched my Quen shield, you know? It's like we're playing a game with like children. It's like, no, I had I had the shield up, so that doesn't count. Okay. Well, nice. Well, the drowners are certainly, you know, they're pretty clever, you know? I'm sure it wasn't the drowners. Pretty so oh, this the story of um, I don't know. There's, there's, there was a like, there was a, there was a cult here of Svalbloods, and they they hung him by his leg to show that he was Skellige material. Yes, out of shame, he hung himself by the legs for shame because he didn't deserve a life. I don't know. Right. Okay. Next bit. Absolute law master. What a one. Right. There's two more over there. Then we're gonna swoop back round. I need to get a new boat because Jesus Christ, this boat is on the way out. Um, it's, it's actually not too bad, like, you know, if you were to look at all of it, but the problem is, is that if the front left takes one more hit of any kind, it will just completely collapse and I'll be stuck in the middle of the ocean again, which is not something I want. Oh, look at that sun, guys. It does actually kind of blind me a bit. It is very, very bright. Now we're 10 minutes in, nearly finished this whole top bit. That's pretty good, considering I sold a bunch of weapons too, played Gwen and messed around. You know, all the traveling is what takes the longest, you know? But that's the main reason you do it. Traveling and drowners and sirens and echidnas. Let me guess, this island's gonna be a drowner on the island, then maybe the next one will have echidnas. Or maybe they'll be a, like a, they'll have worked together and the drowners will be riding the echidnas, you know? And not in, like riding them like dragons, you know? You know, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like a horse. Yes. Okay, well, I'll see you there. We have almost arrived at the Isle of Double Marker Trouble. I'm kind of concerned about what this isle might be. It's very far away. It's almost at the edge of the map. Well, it is basically the edge of the map. We can go no further than this, but I will see. Hmm. Oh, am I going to go up to the top and Vesemir will be there and he'll pull down his Witcher hood and I'll give him his sword. That's, that's really what this feels like. Hang on, there's actually like a root up here. Huh. Why not? Maybe there's something round the fire. Oh, sheer drop. I like it. Well, not sheer, actually. I'd probably roll down that. You know what? For Geralt, every drop is a sheer drop. Ooh, like that one. Luckily, my auto saves are a little bit quicker now. Um. Yeah, I made it. And I did it the joke way. Oh, maybe there's no monsters here. Maybe this is just legitimately like... Ooh. Oh, wow. A relic. Is that, or is it, did it say relic? I think relic is a monster class. It must just be relic. Yeah, relic. Wow. That's a cool sword. I've got to go and put some of these swords in the storage or just sell, I guess sell any of them that aren't like massively expensive. Like all of them probably can go par that. That might be worth a lot. Yeah, and that. <laughs> that dwarven blade, it's really cool though. Okay. Right. Was that it? I mean, obviously that's a lot, but still that, that you know, one sword? How much is it worth? 600? Uh, that's not that much. It's less than the Dwarven sword. Okay, there was another marker here, right? Ugh, it's on the other island. Oh, I've got to go back to my boat. Ugh, I should just come round. I have to come round anyway. Okay, right, I'll just, I'll just run over to the other side. Right. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go around that way. I'm not going to mess around for ages there. Oh. My boat is just... Oh, no, 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 no. There's my boat. Oh, oh. Jesus, sorry. I just... I, I know how dangerous it is. Oh, oh my God. Stop it, game. A few more inches and I would have been cut done for. 
It's a very, like, um, sudden thing from zero to nothing I find in The Witcher with damage. It's like one drowner hits you in the back, then another one hits you, and then you're dead, and so on. And then you, like, you go, you go underwater, and then you start drowning, and then it just increases, and then it's, like, the fall distance. You fall, like, a bit, and then the damage is, like, significant. You know what I mean? Like, just then. If that had been a couple more inches, I probably would have actually just died. I think it just, like, activates almost like a kill switch. But anyway, I can't wait to get a new boat, guys. It'll be so much more chill. There's a look at that over there. Huh. Oh, hey, echidnas. I knew there'd be some of you here. It wouldn't be a Witcher um, Skelliger marker without some echidnas or sirens or smugglers' caches. There's definitely more echidnas than sirens, isn't there? Which is kind of curious. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. Get off my fucking boat. You fucking. Get off. You know, all of you. Let me in the water. I will dive and kill them with one shots. Oh. Got two shots? What the hell? What am I even shooting at? Oh. Okay. Nearly all of them? Okay. Cool. There's a lot of variety in monsters in this game, isn't there? I mean, I, I know I'm saying that as I'm fighting about 100 echidnas every 5 seconds. But what I mean is that, like, you know, you don't really see that many... Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna have to go and, like, go to that village and sell stuff, I think. I don't know, I guess I can loot stuff when I'm, my carry weight's full. I have no idea what I'm gonna drop. Does my breath go down further when I'm... Hmm... I don't know. It feels like it's going down more quickly. Okay, I'm gone over by quite a lot. Um, there we go. Right, let's go and sell some stuff before I have to drop anything else. It's mainly because my, my goal here is not so much to make money. It's to just get from place to place more quickly and explore. Okay, but anyway, I think I should just be able to fast travel, surely, to a um, an anchor point. I don't have to travel the whole way down. Yay! Oh! I can play Gwen with this guy. Have I never been to this aisle? What? Oh, the music. Right. Oh, all this stuff was worth so much more. It doesn't matter. Right. He has 3,000, though. Okay, quick, Gwen. And I'm not going to mess around, even if I think I can get a really high round, unless it's, like, significantly high. You know, if it's, like, 300, then sure. Right. Oh, nice. I always want to do that first, just in case. Um, I don't have any spies. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to put golds down, just in case. Letho, huh? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna raise you an Estorad. I feel like he's going to play another one. So, you know what? I'm going to hit him with that Siri. And then if he plays another one, scorch him and skip. Damn it. Roach? I want to just play gold because I want him to lose. Good, good, good. I have a spy now. Uh, that'll do. I can revive it. It's fine. That's fine. I can still revive it. That's still fine. I'm still significantly ahead. Still ahead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, that's the first time we've lost around a long time, but I had a pretty crap hand. Oh, I can do that to you, mate. Don't you worry. I can do that to you. Alright, let me put one four down. Interesting. You know what? He already played his Scorch, right? Okay, I just need to get lucky with this Shelard. I'm going to do it now. Come on, give me a Commander's Horn or something. He's going to skip, but it's fine. I can do this again. Boom. Oh my god, I can do it again. 
Boom. Okay. Um, I need to just play something to get ahead of him, right? I'm, I've probably the eight over everything. Like, if I had a seven, I'd play it, but I don't have a seven. Um, yes, I can always revive it. That's the way I see it. Okay, I'm going to open with Geralt. Open strong. Oh, this is too perfect. If he has another one, I'm going to scorch him. Oh, he's going to revive my spy, right? God damn it. Oh, it's fine. I can decoy it. That's fine. That's fine. Boom. You know what? As I said... I'm not going to rub it in. I'm just going to win and carry on. I could have, like, drawn more stuff, but pointless. It wouldn't have been a high round. He's annoyed. He wants me to... He's like, just go away. God damn you. Right. I'm kind of tempted to quickly just fast travel over to, um... Ketrolder and just quickly put some of this stuff in the chest. But you know what? I don't think I need to. There's, like... I've done, I've done a lot there. Oh, that boat is, like, right over there. Is there a quicker boat? You know what? I'm going to go to Ketrolder... Just to quickly get a new boat. I'm not going to um, put my swords back, though. I think that'll take too long. Like, I, I have plenty of um, uh, carry weight left. I just want to get a new boat. I'm going to fast travel to that anchor. Then I'm going to carry on with these markers. And I'll get those. And I've still got an hour and a half. Well, more than that, actually. And I might even record for longer because I know how much is going to be cut out because of how much traveling I've had to do. Right. I'm going to travel back to the harbor. Uh, yeah, I do need to actually go there. I need to get that. Uh, am I going to bother with those two? You know what? I'll get that. I'll go there, and then I'll get that, and then I'm going to leave that one, and then I'm going to go right down. You know what? No, no, I'll get, I'll get that, that, that. Then I'll go down, then I'll go back up, and then I'll just sort of, you know, go kind of like, like, like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I should get to the Yennefer bit, and then I probably will do the Yennefer quest today. Um, you know, I might just do that. I've got quite a lot of markers to get, but the bulk of them seem to be actually just be up here. Like, wh what I'm doing right now is where most of them are. Oh, look at that, though. Little, little fort on the top. I do like that. I also have, obviously, like, the Fist of Fury quest and stuff to do at some point, but I, um, I'm not really a high enough level yet. I think that's, like, level 30. Um, I have the races as well, don't I? I don't think that's really like a level specific thing, so I'll do that at some point in the future. It's just there are a lot of markers to get in Skelliger, and this this is something I've known for a long time. But you know what? You gotta you gotta do this to get to the next bit in the game. That's like part of a it's like a, it's like a rite of passage, almost. Oh, you know what? Look, I just got this boat. All right. Stop it. God damn it, you goddamn sirens! Leave my goddamn boat alone! Is all of my boat orange now? I mean, orange is fine, I guess red is the issue. Looks like the front might be red. Fucking goddamn it, sirens! Right, where's my goddamn ho Fuck off, magic lamp! Right, hang on. Kill them all! Jesus Christ! Oh, boat, are you okay? Oh, it's orange. It's not red, which means it's okay. I think they actually were there for this marker. So you know what? We dealt with them. I thought they were just random sirens, to be honest. I knew the marker was close, but I wasn't really paying attention. I thought, God, that's a lot of sirens just for, like, nothing. Um, oh, there's, like, a proper, proper little thing down here. I mean, no loot, but there's a proper little thing down here. Oh, wait, hang on. It's hidden in the ship. I would never swim into a ship like this without any sort of gear. I guess Geralt's a witcher, so he's... What the hell is going on? 
Okay, that was so confusing. Oh, I guess it's not really swimming into a ship. I, uh, God, I wouldn't even swim down this far normally. Two rune stones, really? Jesus, there was like a hundred sirens. Well, there was a lot of sirens. I've had to go so many sirens. Like, the, the, the population of sirens in Skelliger has, has taken a hit with my looting. Like, oh my god. What What is happening? Boat? God. Look, Boat, give me your keys. You're drunk. You're drunk, alright? You're drunk. Oh my god. Just let me on the boat. I'm scared of what's going on with my boat. <laughs> what, what, what is happening? Okay. Right. Let's just get the other marker, okay? Let's just forget about what just happened to our boat. I have no idea. I think a siren might have been weighing it down. Um, okay. Nature is so beautiful and not glitchy at all. Great. Do you know, I still haven't seen the flying Redanian. What is going on? Okay, I have made it. Another hundred drowners to fight. That's fine. I'm guessing they're drowners because none of them are screaming at me. God, your crossbow skill should go up with this, you know? Just do extra damage. Wouldn't it be great when I get, like, the bear crossbow, you know? What level is that, like, 30? I think I've already made it. Is it, like, a chest somewhere? Okay. I'm just going to get these as quickly as possible to move on. Now there's Rana. Where is it? God damn it, Geralt. Okay, next one. Last one. Okay, great. That's another marker cleared. Every time I do a marker, I think, well, that's one cleared. You know what I mean? Like, that's literally my reaction. And it's going to be so rewarding doing all of this, getting all that done, thinking I've done that now, never have to do it again in this playthrough. Um, who knows? I probably will do it in the future at some point in my life. You know, I, I don't imagine I'll never do any of the markers again. I mean, to be fair, maybe, maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe it's kind of pointless doing this, like, twice. Like, to do it once is like, okay, you've done it. You know what I mean? Like, all of them. Like, because I have collected markers before, but I, I don't, I just can't, oh, I'm leveled up. I can't imagine doing all of these in Skelliger, because, Jesus Christ, they're so similar. I guess there's a lot of loot and stuff, but, you know, whatever. It's good to do it at least once, I guess. I, I might have done it once. I remember doing all the markers once. Maybe I just didn't bother with some of these. It was quite a long time ago now. I feel like this isn't something you'd forget, which is why I'm unsure. I'm quite forgetful about that sort of thing. But anyway, I'll, I'll have video proof that I have actually done all the markers, I guess. And I'll, I can watch it back myself and be like, yeah, yeah, I did do that, didn't I? I'll pretty forget I did this. Oh, is that a glitchy whale? Oh, it's not so glitchy. Why are the whales so glitchy? Maybe I should Google it. Let's do an okay Google. Why are the whales glitchy in Skelliger? Witcher 3. Ah! Fuck off, Siren! Stop it! Right. Got the curve on these. I will clear them off. I will make them come to me. I will not be fighting them. Right. Get me off this goddamn boat. I will I will actually fight them in the water. Because they, they instant kill, I think, most of the time. Or not. I'm not sure. Oh, 
Okay. Hey! Oh, come on. They actually travel better in water. Like the crossbow bolts, I'd say. Well, I don't know. I, I, they, they almost have like a... Like almost like a targeting system, it feels like. God, there's so many here. Yeah, you do get a little bit of vibration with the with the crossbow bolts. It's kind of interesting. And when you're underwater, it's definitely like lessened a bit. That's like a really cool, subtle touch to put in. Geralt, come on. Are they attacking my boat when I'm not on it? Jesus, what a dick move. I don't think they were. Okay. Come on, you fucker. Oh, I just know there's going to be one, like, coming up and killing me in five seconds. Okay. Okay, it is in sight. I think it might even be the ship from earlier. I don't know. Right. Jesus, guys. I've, I've been traveling for so long. I went and got a coffee because I was just traveling in straight lines, so I went and grabbed one. Uh, so I have that now. And, uh, yeah. I'm just sort of interested to see what happens next. There's a ship. I'm hoping I don't have to fight anything be great. I think there will be sirens or harpies, but, you know, cool if there wasn't. I know for a fact that there is nothing on those ships. My ship is tipping over, so I'm kind of concerned about that. Ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, there are some sirens. I would like to avoid having to kill them, because, to be honest, guys, I don't really want to kill all of them every time. My ship is just... What is going on with the ship today? This new ship has not been behaving like I want it to, you know? Okay. Well, because the reason I fire an extra shot every so often is because I just sort of spam the crossbow whenever I see sirens and just hope it kills them. I sort of aim in the general direction, you know? Okay, my ship has come back up. M maybe I'm on the flying Redanian. Maybe that's what's happening. It's trying to go back to its home in the water. God damn it, girl. Ah, Jesus, stop swimming. I'm trying to go up. Okay, please don't flip again. All right, I'm going to leave the helm. Right, can I unequip this fucking magic lamp, man? Right, thank God. Okay, whatever, who cares? This is a cool place, though. I'm sort of wondering if there's... If I can go in the ship or something, because it looks like one is in the ship. This this is kind of terrifying, going to be honest. Two Dimerutium ingots. Oh! Oh my god, I'm going to drown. Oh, let me, out, let me 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 out. As I just said, I would never do that in real life. Oh. Where is it? Yeah, I clicked it once that time. Well, I clicked it like twice, but as soon as I saw the bolt firing, I was like, right, no more clicking. I think that's what it might be. Okay, so I got that one there. There is one round the island, but I honestly may as well just use the boat because I'd have to come back and get the boat anyway. It's like, you know, it's kind of pointless to travel all the way across without the boat. Because I do have to come and get it. Oh. Oh, it is nice doing these skeleton markers. You know, I know it's like always like, oh my god, just another spores of war, another whatever. But I, I genuinely think that it's 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 kind of like it's what Skelliger is. You know, you go in and finding all the smugglers' caches. You're seeing people and sirens and drowners, and you know they're they're all dead. Look here, look, we went from echidnas to drowners. Ugh. there's like two skeleton enemies. So guys. I'm level 24 now. Oh yeah, I'm almost close to getting the bear upgrade. I think we started Skellige on like the level where you use the bear armor, I'm pretty sure. So like level, I don't know, 20? 18? Is 
it's easier with drowners just to take a couple hits personally like avoiding frages is sort of point did i just hear a water hag hmm i'm gonna assume it's up there based on the sound um what i have to get this is kind of a cool place though you like it it's also a white thing on the wall that sort of lets you know you can climb up that sounded like a water hag oh no it's just a drowner okay Get here, you. Oh, come on. I avoided. I sort of avoided into him, but I avoided. Okay. That's it? Jeez, that was terrible. Is that it? Really? Hang on. I need to deal with these as soon as possible. Die. I mean, I'll, I'll be bringing out a carry weight again soon. Okay, we're getting a lot of like emerald dust and stuff, which is good. I mean, all this stuff, I'm sure eventually we'll be using it to sell, you know, not just the armor and weapons. I mean, like the emerald dust and stuff, we don't need it. We probably won't. And if we need extra money while we're making the Grandmaster sets, it's all good to get. The one thing I'm kind of terrified of is what happens if I run out of, like, ways to get money. <laughs> As in, I've done every single marker in the game, and it's like, oh, hang on, I can't afford all the sets. What have I done with my money? Hey, it, like, properly played. It only glitched a tiny amount. Maybe the more I play, the less it glitches. It's like a reward. Okay, we're now 100 meters away. I can see some sirens. We must be getting close. Get that crossbow equipped. So much crap. It's just like, like saltpeter. It's like one of the chests has something good in normally. Like a blue sword and then some florins. The thing is about the florins, we can convert them all at some point and then we'll probably get quite a lot of armor. See, I'm already full again. I'm gonna have to go and sell stuff again. I do have to get a new boat to be completely honest. I'm kind of, what the hell? Why did my armor go up so much? Okay, there you go. Right, I don't think I can do any more markers. I have to, I'm gonna have to go and um, travel somewhere. Jeez, I keep on having to like go and sell stuff all the time. Okay. Yet if I might be like, Geralt's come in my room how many times since I've been away? What? Greetings. This guy will buy it, but how doesn't really, you know, it's not it doesn't really weigh that much though. So... See, look, he do yeah, he definitely takes the armor for less. 90? You're having a laugh. Ah, yeah, it's a pretty good idea to sell these. White wall. Perfect. Okay. See, look, yeah, yeah, he took it for way more. Oh my god, finally, that is so, like, good to know that it actually does sell for more. I never was sure. Look, it, it sold for 90 before, I just sold it for like 100 and something. Yeah, so it is actually worth selling to... Oh, that kind of makes everything take longer, though. Alright. Thanks, mate. I'm gonna talk See. to your friend now. Me? I've got nothing to say. Oh well god damn you. What do you need? Oh. Okay. What do you So oh he's got good money too. Not for long. Thanks, mate. Um I'll be back soon probably in the future to sell more things. Is there any more smiths here? It is like a major settlement. What's annoying is that I have to, like, purposely avoid other settlements. I'm sort of just going to the main ones, you know? Like, I, there might be a smith in Trotheim, but I can't remember, and I don't want to go there and there not be one. Like, what's interesting about Kier, right, is that it, it's from the elven word, like, Kier? Kier? Which is, like, a Welsh word, basically. Um, and it means fortress or fort or something like that. And Kier is, like, the skeleton spin on the word. And for some reason, the School of the Wolf uses the skeleton spin on the word, the elvish word. Kind of interesting. Oh, look how much money he has. Who knows, just for simplicity's sake, I might even skip all of that. <laughs> and just go straight to the next mark and be like, right guys, I just spent about 20 minutes selling loads of shit and putting stuff in the stash. So yeah, I literally spent 10 minutes doing that. It's kind of fun though, I, I like it. It, feel, it makes me feel like a witcher in the world, you know? But not just a witcher, kind of like an adventurer. Um... Hey, come on. Oh, we're going to get the animation? Oh, yay. <laughs> A lot of whales in Skellige. Right, this is my new boat. You better not freaking break it. Oh, come on. I hit a barrel. I was looking at all the... Okay. 
Okay. Ho, ho, ho. It's all right, Geralt, you got this. We'll get there. Okay. I mean, it's not brilliant stuff. We're going to have a lot of crafting materials, which is useful, I guess. Oh, hang on. Do you know, I'm trying something where, like, I click B after I've spammed it loads, after I've killed one. Um, yeah, after the shot's gone, I just spam B as well. And I think that seems to be helping a bit. Why is this happening to all my ships? Is it because the body's, like, tipping it, I think? Go away. Start, it cancels the crossbow shooting. I mean, it's, it just did there, and it was about to shoot, and I clicked B, and it just stopped. Weird. I don't I've never heard that anywhere. Maybe, maybe I'm just not tapping it as much as I think. Or I worked it out all by myself. Damn it. No, I did it again. Mm, I only clicked it once, to be fair, that time, but I still, I still did click it. That music is like Witcher 2 music. I like it. Oh. Okay. Where's next? Really don't want them to break my boat. Hang on. It's drowners, right? God damn it. Oh, I'm, I parked so far away. I tried to stop for ages and it wasn't working. Eh, not as far away as I thought. I guess the ship carries on much longer than you would have thought. Uh, there it is. I might not have to kill anything. Uh, Geralt, turn. Yeah, the way I see it, if I've killed like six drowners on a hundred other markers, missing it, missing six drowners once by accident is not that bad. There might even be drowners here, to be honest. I think I saw some like enemies or herds. Maybe I didn't hear any. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. It's not like a, it's not like an actual like a basilisk or something. You know what I mean? Not like an actual kind of miniature boss fight. Not that they're particularly hard either, but you know, it's fine. I'm just gonna sort of keep clicking as I go, you know? I'm sort of blindly firing into the sea. Kill him! Or her. Her, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that's a lot of sirens instead. Thank God for water. Oh, dimeritium. That's cool. God, there's so many sirens, guys. Like, Jesus. Uh, one more. Awesome. It's like, it's almost like an automated thing. I'm like, right, sirens dead. Boom. Chests. Boom. Marker. Boom. Done. Next one. You know, select marker. Gone. You know, like, only half breath. Look how efficient I'm getting. Hey, Kidna. Damn, you're ugly. Geralt can be a mean asshole sometimes, guys. I'm hoping the boat doesn't like half break on the freaking sirens like it did last time. Right. Maybe it was a barrel. I don't know. I honestly don't care. Right, next one. Okay, another one. It's pretty easy to kill them underground, right? Underground, underwater. God, level 19 echidnas die instantly. Stop it, Geralt. Okay. Okay, killed all of them. I don't think I'm going to use the potion. I'm getting a lot of florins, though. Like, that, that that's definitely going up. I, you know, I'm not really getting orange. I guess it's because it's, what, Nilfgaardian stuff? What a florin. They're Nilfgaardian, right? Oh. Okay, that's that marker done. Like, Jesus, I'm just thinking, like, how much am I actually going to cut out today? <laughs> like, all the traveling, which is the bulk of it, actually. I'll show you me, like, killing everything, I guess. Yeah, there is a little island up there. Okay, I'm almost there, guys. I'm, uh, like, 70, 60 meters away. Awesome. Okay, gonna be another drowned dead one, huh? 
Put some killer whale just to make that last a little bit longer. Okay. Where's the other one? Ah. Oh god, I'm sure I can last just a little bit longer, even if I take a little bit of damage. I'm not sure if you can, like, loot if you're drowning. I'm sure you can. Look how much your health goes down. Jesus. Uh, drowners again? Okay, that's all of them dealt with, I think. Well, there's a few more, but, you know, all the ones currently in view. Oh. That's all of them dealt with. <laughs> God damn it. Good thing you instantly kill them every time. It is kind of just like an annoyance. It's like, ugh, another five sirens to kill. It doesn't take long, but it, it's still like, ugh. I guess it adds to it. If it was just constantly going somewhere and picking stuff up, it might be a bit more like, oh. But at least you kind of have an activity on the side, you know? Okay, well, that's that one done. Oh, rainy. Snithal Isle. This is actually like an, an isle. I'm, I'm going to park further away. I will have to swim to it, but... I'm kind of concerned about the front of it now. I really don't want to risk anything. Okay, well, let's go and get it. This feels like a contract or something, you know? That's, I'm kind of concerned. However, I know that I now have, like, collected all the contracts. I haven't exactly defined payment. Oh, shit. Hang on, I'll go around the... I'll go around the other side, because I know there's a pathway up. I'm, I could probably make it up there, but it might just take a while. Uh, I can probably make it up this bit. <laughs> Looks kind of rocky enough. Okay. Might be a place of power? I don't know. I'll make a save just in case it kickstarts a quest that I don't want to do yet. A hidden treasure with a griffin? Oh, a fucking arch griffin. Okay, see you later. Um... Yeah, um, I'll deal with that when I'm, like, level 30. Um, for now, though, I am good, game. I am very, very good. Oh, my God. Oh. Please don't follow me for, like, 20 minutes, Griffin. Just just go back to your nest. I'm leaving you alone. You leave me alone. It's a good... It's a, it's a symbiotic relationship where we leave each other alone. I'm fine, and you're fine. I'll swim back, you know? I don't mind swimming. Jesus Christ. It's like you put all that... I knew it was going to be something bigger. Like, the fact there's an entire aisle there. Like, an actual aisle. Oh, this griffin is terrifying. Please don't kill me in the water. I'll come back later, and then we'll have a proper fight. A fair fight. You know? I won't just... I could... I mean, could I kill it? Probably it would just take a long time and a lot of trial and error. Of, like, just never getting hit. I guess I have Quinn. But, oh well. Right, let's just go to the next one. Okay, guys, there is actually two quests available as well down here. So I might just quick try and grab the quests. Asshole! Cockeyed prick! You're dead! Help! Save me! Oh. Oh, fuck her. Hang on. Save me! Okay, I saved you. I nearly didn't. Thanks for the help. What was that about? Ah, Bugger can't handle that his sister would rather sail to Lilac Bay with me than serve Freya. Seduced a priestess? A Skelliger seducing a priestess? I thought... Thought what? That we don't do such things. Not every man in the Isles believes in that rubbish about the gods, but many can't accept that, and it leads to feuds. Vendettas. It's not right. Not fair. I love Irma, and she loves me. There'll come a day when we'll be together. I'll find a way. Religion's full of holes as logic's concerned. There's bound to be holes in its principles, too. I'll find them. Show them to the priestesses. Then they'll let me wed my Irma. You travel a lot, don't you? Ever come across something that can help me? Bring it here. I'll pay you well. I live in the hut the other side of the volcano. See what I can do. So long, and try to stay away from brothers in a rage. What does he want? Gather books describing religious customs and take them to Ivar. I think I have books describing customs and religions. Ah, greetings. Got something for me? I'm sure I must have found something. 
Do I not have any books, really? Religion and life. Uh, yeah, look, mate. Um, I've already read all these, so you can just have them. Thanks for your help. But I'm thinking I'll learn no more sitting here. Time to see the world. Perhaps while I'm on my travels, I can figure out a way to be with Irma. Good luck. Okay. Was that it? Is it finished? Did I finish the quest? I'm pretty sure those were the books that, like, I've just been collecting throughout the game that I just gave him. Like, I think I found them just randomly and I bought them from Smiths whenever I needed, like, a quest thing. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with that quest is complete. I'm pretty sure I don't give him, like, a book that's specific to whatever. I'm glad I picked up that quest. You know what, guys? We got a bit of quest there. Yay! Who would have thunk that we'd be happy for our actual quest? You know, like, surprise as well. God, now I think of it. If I hadn't saved that guy, if he died, I would have never, like, well, unless you guys told me, you probably would have told me, I wouldn't have known that I needed to give him those books. Luckily, I saved him, um, and then I had the books on me. So, there you go. Apparently, he's going to travel the world. I'm sure we can find him somewhere. In fact, I think you can find him somewhere. I can't remember where, though. I'm sure I can work it out. I, I know you can find him somewhere, so I'll have a look online, maybe. Because I just can't remember where. Hey, look, the animation just played, I think, straight up. Maybe it plays better at night time? I don't know, probably not. Jesus. Okay. I feel like I've been in Skellige for so long now. Novigrad feels like a long time ago now. How long have I been in Skellige, like, real time? Months? No, like, how long have I... How long has it been since... Novigrad, a long time. I mean, in November, which is next month, I'll have been recording The Witcher 3 for a goddamn year. So why did my breath run out? And I realized that um, like a year of recording a game is a long time. I knew it would take a long time, though. I literally said this playthrough is going to take years. <laughs> it's, it's I've done, like, how many parts? Like, 30-something? So I haven't done one every week. But, um, you know... I've still done them. Is this drowner going to try and kill me, or...? What's happened to my map? It's like a black bar on the side. What is that? Oh, okay, it's loaded. Oh no, don't want to hit any barrels. I wonder how much of this part is actually going to stay in, because of how much travelling I've had to do. I've had to travel so much. Oh, Jesus Christ, how am I full again?! I'm full again! I must- I have to get some better carry weight gear. Okay, right, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight into water if I can. Guys, I hope you're all proud of me though, you know? I've stomach- I'm proud of you guys, actually. You know what? I am legitimately proud of you guys. Anyone that has sat here and watched all these markers and just, you know, had a cool time with me exploring Skellige, you know, you, you're you're a true gamer. There you go, gamer, gamers, <laughs> gamers unite, gamers uprise. I don't know, gamers. Ugh, god damn it. Full carry weight again. I'm gonna have to go and sell stuff. Like I'm gonna have to go there, wait like four days and hope he's reset. Okay, everyone. I just spent absolutely ages selling stuff. Um, like a while. I hopefully will have remembered to skip it, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna keep it this dark. You might be like, what the hell, why? Change of scenery. Um, I'm actually using the same boat, which I, I should have probably got a new one, but I don't care. Um, it's, it probably, this boat will probably break, but you know what, it's fine. I sold a lot of stuff. Look how much money, I, I have 20,000. I've gained like 10, I've gained like 11,000 crowns today. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, oh my God, 20,000? Like, that's, that's quite a lot to have. I mean, I haven't even done, like, all the markers in Skellige. Like, I've done a lot, but I haven't done all of them. 20,000 crowns is a lot. I, I am really rich now, you know? Like, jeez. I'm Mr. Moneybags Geralt, you know? But we don't do this for the money. We do it for the exploration. The money is just something that is amazing. You know, I would like to maybe invest my money in uh, the Vivaldi Bank. Maybe get some good interest on a loan. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? I just stick... Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's a whale. Oh, it's frozen. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, fighting in nighttime is not great. I just want to see that flying... Red what is that? Oh, no. I want to see the flying Redanian. That's like the main reason I'm doing this. Oh, hey, whale. You decided to finally do it. Oh, come on. I nearly shot him. Right, got him. Next few crates. Right. We're getting there, though, guys. We're really getting there. I'm sort of like, I was stressing a bit because I thought, God, there's going to be a lot of markers in this. And there will be. But I realized that I can edit around it probably really well. Like, I can just take out all the traveling, which will be so much gone. And then on top of that, I can um, remove, like, any point where I had to go and sell stuff for ages. I can just sort of show that as almost like a quick sort of, like, I went here, here, here. Because most of it is just me rambling, you know? Like, the start of the video, I did actually have stuff to say that, like, I wanted to tell you all about. But everything else has just been rambling. <laughs> Which is fun, but also, I've been rambling for like two and a half hours. <laughs> Doing markers for nearly like three hours. I knew it would take a while though, you know? That's why I've been saying for ages, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while, guys. But once it's done, it's goddamn done. We never have to do these particular markers again. Get off my boat. You're joking, right? How did that even... Right, let me off. Hindusfjall armor? Jesus. Hang on. That, that, did that siren just run away? I forgot to click B. Did that siren just run away? Okay. You know, the horn has actually been useful. Like, obviously, a lot of these markers, I can't really use it. But it's still been pretty useful with, you know, the other ones when I have to go on the islands and stuff. Because I know it might be like, oh, well, it's not as useful as you thought it might be. But it's like, well, you know, there's a, there's a lot of these um, things to deal with. But anyway, on to the next one. It's kind of cool going around at night time, though. A bit different. I'll stay at night time just in case I happen to see this Redanian ship. Like the the uh, the card. All right. Oh wow! I actually got him. <laughs> I was so sure he was gonna hit me. Okay, that's that done. Boom, next one. God, I'm sorry, guys. I know on YouTube you're going to be like, I can't see anything other than Geralt and the boat. And it's like, well, me neither. But we might see a ghost ship. And is that not what it's for? To see a ghost ship? I mean, come on, guys. A ghost ship. Oh my God, is that actually a person? I get to fight people? Oh, thank God. It's been so long. Oh, yes. Give you guys a bit of light, why not? It might be like, why don't you use cat? But it's like, I'm, I'm, I think the ship will look trash if I have cat on. Obviously, I could use it now, but I, I kind of don't want to. Okay, got him. Oh. Jesus, that pike's kind of deadly, you know? Okay. Collect some stuff, why not? Uh, I can't be out. There's nothing on them, there's just oil. There might, there might be some silver if I was lucky. Probably not, they probably don't even drop off that. Jesus Christ, this island was terrible. Uh, I guess the hide is okay, but... Uh. Okay. Alright, we'll keep going. I'm sure there's more stuff there, but at this point, it's fine. We've, we've got so much shit. I have 20,000 gold. Right, we'll go there, and then we'll grab these ones, head down, get that, go around, get those two. Boom. Mission. That's the way I see it. I'm not going to do the ones further down, which I could get to, but, like, I feel like that's for a later date. You know, I've done so many now. And then we get to do a mission, though. And we have also done that other mission with the books. And we found it completely, like, in a legit way, too. Like, I didn't even remember it was there. Like, it was, it was like, almost RP finding, you know? We went and we're doing markers. We're traveling around. And we just, like, oh, there's, there's a quest over there. We go there. And then we already have the books. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I got some books about religions, I guess. But, yeah. 
Okay, we're at Ard Skellig, the Skellig Isles. Um, this is obviously the main isle. But I think this one actually might be on land, but the way I see it, it's quite far away from, like, any other marker, so we may as well just get it done while we're here. Oh, it's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Right. This feels like it might be a mission, so I'm going to make a quick... Quick save, just in case it kickstarts something. Oh, it's just a camp. Oh, yeah, I actually took a bit of damage, I guess, earlier. I mean, I'm literally double their level, so I, I shouldn't be too worried, but... I honestly can't be bothered to loot them because they never have anything good on them ever. It's always like trash. Oh, that was pretty good. Loot, but not like on them. No. Oh my god, these killers, these kill moves are amazing. I absolutely love them. Like honestly, like I'm so much higher level than them that I may as well just like... Like I don't really want to pick up crap, you know? Like it is just crap what they have. Like there's no point looting it. Uh, look, wolf hide, a chicken leg. I'm like, oh, but you can get a little bit for wolf hide. Oh, I guess a crossbow is okay. Right, that'll do. I'm done with that. There's nothing there, guys. You know, I don't care what you say. There is nothing good there. I'm going to check around here just out of, you know, simple, you know, the fact there's still bandits alive and I want to kill them all. Right. I'll kill them just because it's like part of the marker. And... They're my level. Right, this fucker. That's like the first time in a long time I've decided to use the Y move. Like the power attack. I haven't used that in a long time. Like I'm 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 probably haven't used that in weeks. Like literal weeks. God, there was really nothing here. Oh my god! Oh. Okay. Well, that's why you uh that's why you explore, guys. We completed that treasure hunt pretty much. We got a few more swords for the griffin stuff. I guess, yeah, I was probably going to get that at some point anyway. So cool. I never have to come back here. Amazing. See, that's why you do stuff, guys. As I always say, that is why you go and explore a little bit more when it's like an open area. Because, you know, I found two dimeritium earlier and just then I found all the superior griffin gear. Which is great. Okay, I'm pretty much at the marker. It wasn't that far to travel. However, I am going to get off the boat very soon because I am actually terrified that something is going to kill my boat. Grab these, and then we'll move on. I'm sort of, I'm, I imagine I'll be letting you guys just see all the uh, stuff I get, just so you can be like, oh, you know, you got this. Just in case you missed it when you were just spamming A every time you go near them. I mean, I've got so much money now, and I have all those, like, I have, like, all my best swords that I've been collecting slowly still in that, <laughs> in that chest. Like, like, it's not, I've not just got 20,000 pounds. I've got, oh, it's done that audio thing again. God damn it. Right, guys, I'll see you at the next marker. I'm going to start this audio first. Okay, we're pretty much there. We're, uh, we're getting there. There's another smuggler's cache. There is so many. I mean, Jesus Christ, considering how many I've done, and, like, like there's still, like, loads to actually get. I feel like surely I've done the bulk of them in Skellige. You know what I mean? Sometimes they just give up. It's like, okay, sure, whatever. I don't care. Live another day. Killer Will actually lasts for quite a while. Oh my god, I've run out of carry weight again? Really? Ugh. Right, I'm gonna have to go sell some stuff, guys. I know, I know. I'll skip to the next marker for you guys, though. Don't worry, I'll just... It'll be like one long thing for you guys. Okay, guys, I am back. I just spent ages selling stuff. Made a cool three grand. Look, boom. And yeah, we're uh, we're continuing. We've got a few more markers to do, and then I'm going to do that goddamn Yennefer mission. I've been recording for nearly three hours now. 
Um, I have no idea how long it will be into the part at this point. Probably not that long. Maybe like an hour. I have no idea. Well, maybe like, probably 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 like an hour and a half or something, realistically. But um, no, it, it has been a it has been a task getting these done. Oh no, because apparently this is where it appears the most, from what I've heard, between Hindusfjall and Ardskellig, which is sort of where I am. Well, literally where I am. So we'll see. I sold a lot of stuff. I made another 3.5, as I said and showed you guys. But I'm getting more and more stuff. This is a really good way to make money. Like, it's time consuming, but... I mean, I'm like... I think I'm... Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm set, but... I, I don't know what the hell I'm going to spend all this money on. Like... Considering I'll be getting money throughout the game through doing like this is not even from witcher contracts really like 300 gold now is like meaningless Like Jesus like oh 300 gold. Yay. I could get that in like five seconds in Skelliger Oh, I also the you know one thing I've also worked out best place to sell stuff that you get in Skelliger um, Is elite well, I'm sure I'm sure odd Skellig like cracks place is probably pretty good, but um Oh my god, this is pretty bad actually hang on Right, give me that. Give me that killer whale. No, it's uh, it's where. Oh, what is it called? It's called Kier Mira. Am I saying that right? I think that is literally like a play on Kier Morn, because Kier Mira means like Fortress of the Elder Sea or something in Elder Speech. I think. Which I only know that because I was looking recently. It's not like something I just know. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm like, oh yeah, I know all the Elder Speech, because I don't, and I don't want anyone to question me on that one, because I don't. Uh, but um. This bloody hell, I'm not going to sit and learn another language, you know? I'm sure I'll pick it up as I go, but, um, you know, like, phrases here and there. Oh my god, there's so many freaking smugglers' caches. Jesus. Like, so many. Like, it's just all the time. I'm keeping an eye on you, though. <laughs> just doing the rounds. Ooh, that was a decent little hole there. Oh my god, this one's way better than some of them. I found like a really good runestone in one of them, I suppose. Oh. And back up I go. Marker complete. Let's go to the next one. Okay, we're at the other marker, guys. Um, <laughs> I am like... I've been here for so long doing these markers. It's like three hours now. That's longer than a normal part, and I've just been doing markers. Oh, but I'm, I know I'll be... um finishing soon. I've only got two left, I think, of the of the, the sea ones. I have a couple on the actual aisle, but, you know, I'm going to get going with the quest first, I think. Didn't have to kill anything here. They're all, like, out of the way, I guess. Okay, I've made it. Oh my god, what is all this? There is so many red... Oh, it's all drowned dead. Uh, this better be a good one. Jeez. Okay. Very close, much closer than I meant to be. Hop, got it, and head back up. Let's just rinse and repeat, guys. I'm the Skellige Master now. I have been through the goddamn trenches. Ugh. And back up I go. Oh, it is nice to get back on the boat, though. Right, final marker of the goddamn sea in this bit. Okay, final marker. We have our... Oh, shit. We finally arrived. Imagine. 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 Final marker. I just... Right. Okay. I like the, the ship breaks and I'm stuck in the middle of the ocean. Okay, i got to be very careful when I leave. I might even just reverse. I guess I could just do a hard tilt. Okay. It's fine. Final bit. Right, that's the markers of this goddamn area done. Boom. Anyone else? That's what I thought. Oh, there's one up there. It's good. It means they won't attack the boat, you know? That's all I'm thinking. Look at all the fish. Ooh. Incredible. Okay, guys. Turned out I still have two more markers I just completely forgot about. So I'm going to go and do them quickly, and then we'll, um, we'll do the Yennefer mission. Okay, guys, I am basically at the marker. There is only two left. 
I have one that appears to be another smuggler's cache. Amazing. Uh, I'm really still scared of the boat potentially dying, so we'll be careful about that. Um, I'm just going to let him go into the water. Right. Oh, what? That's bullshit. Okay. Sure, that would hit. Let me loot. Uh, I think the glitch occurs with the audio after I get hit underwater, from what I've gathered. So I'm kind of concerned about that happening again. I drunk Killer Whale, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, yeah, it is. Come on, I can do it. Whew. Come on. Okay, and get back up. Boom. Right, that's one of them done. Now I have one more on this on this like island next to it, I think. Yeah, just over here. And then that's the last marker, guys, of this entire top bit. And then we can do the Yennefer mission. And oh my god, I am looking forward to doing a mission. <laughs> like, as much as I love the markers, sometimes, you know, there is, there is just a lot. <laughs> like, oh my god, there is a lot. This boat might break. I really don't want it to break. I just need to get on it and fast travel my way out of here to the anchor point. I do still still technically have two markers on that other aisle, but they're on land and... Oh, hang on. I might not even be able to do this one. What the fuck am I supposed to do against... Is that a bear? What level is it? Oh, I can deal with that. Get poisoned, get poisoned. Get burned. Right, bears dealt with. Get the treasure, go back and loot the bear. Oh, god damn it, is this a mission? But that's it? Yeah, okay. I guess it was only level 16, but ugh. Ugh. Went all that way for a goddamn chess piece? Fine. Okay, well that's the markers done, guys. Amazing. One there, uh, so I haven't done. Oh, great. What? So, I know I've said like twice now, I don't even know how many times, that I've finished all the markers. This genuinely is the last one in the sea that I've got to do at this top bit, and I've completely run out of carry weight. But this is this is legitimately the last one I've checked. I keep on missing one, and then I'm like, oh, but I've I've done it. Okay, all the marks in this top bit are done. Legitimately, now that is it. And you know what? Even if I forgot one, fuck it. I'm done with the markers, okay? I want to do the Yennefer mission. I've been prepping myself for it. I'm like, oh, I can't do this mission. And it's like, oh, there's one more I forgot. But I've done it now. God damn it. So, I'm going to head directly there. I'm not sure if I have to go somewhere else first. I don't know. I do actually... Oh, god damn it. I just realized I've got to... I'm going to have to go and sell stuff first, I think. Which I will go and do because I don't want to just carry like a hundred things everywhere, right? We'll go and sell stuff quickly and I'll be back with you guys at the end of a bit. Okay, guys, we have made it. Jesus Christ. We're on Hindusfjall. We have the Yenna permission to do. I have two markers just on here that I want to do while I'm here because I don't think you have to come back here really for any other reason later on. And they are literally on the way. I have to walk there anyway. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do them on the way. But no, it's been really cool. I'm glad to have done all of those. Do you want to see how many we did in the end? Do you want to just have a quick look? So obviously we still have those two. I'm not doing anything sort of below there. Um, those things can kind of be left for now, you know. So I did that, that, all that, those two there, those two, all those, all these. I couldn't do that one, obviously, or that one. Did all those, all those, and then we didn't do any sort of past that line, right? But look how many we've done. We still have all these, but 
the majority of the annoying ones we've done. The rest of those are like on the mainland and we can just kind of ride to them with Roach very, very sort of quickly there and back. The boat takes forever to get anywhere. I'm glad I just managed to avoid that then. <laughs> so I am kind of concerned about what this is going to do. I don't want to start a quest accidentally and this feels like it might be a quest. Like, as in, I want to do a quest if it's meant to be done. Okay, we got a horn, right? Okay, it doesn't work. Yeah, they're harpies. <gasps> I did it! 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 Oh my god! Best thing ever! God damn it, stop it! You know, I'm going to quen up. I think that actually knocks them over as well. Right. I think there's still one over here. Will they really knock it into the goddamn house? Can I get in the house? What? Oh, there you go. Okay. Right, well, we basically just fully repopulated a settlement. That's kind of cool. Not in the way you think. Yeah, I'm taking all this. No problem. No problem, guys. I, I know I saved the entire village and you're forever owed to me, but you know, you, you can just let me live here for free whenever I want and it's all fine, okay? It's fine. Can you toss an axe? Yes. My brother can? Yes, I'm sure I can. Look at that, dimeritium. See, I just want to quickly loot here, just because I'm here, you know, and I just did it all. And then Yennefer mission. I'm doing the Yennefer mission, no matter what happens. I, honestly, guys, I'm just happy to be inside looting. Not on the goddamn sea again. Sh surely the priestesses will be happy that I did this. I mean, this this is like the biggest sel the settlement I think we've actually, like, get hired on the ship. you know, cured, healed, made better, repopulated. Yeah, I got it right the first time. Getting a lot of stuff. A lot of crap, though. I mean, I have so much money now. Like, what do I... I have, like, 25,000. Which is quite a lot. You know, I'm sure it's about... Uh, 50,000. You know, it's like, yeah, but you know what? I got 25,000. And ha. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Uh-oh. Shut up. I just saved you. All this is mine. I would have looted it. If the, while the harpies were here, if I'd known that people were just going to wander back in, you know, I wanted to make this my town. Me killing all the harpies was not just like, yeah, sure, come back in, guys. This is my payment. I'll have what you find at home but did not, is, not expect. I'm sure none of them really expected to come home. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got them. Right. I think we have a few more, like, buildings. I can't get in there. Can I get in here? Okay, no. That looked like... Kind of like a pathway. Okay, you know what, guys? That's enough. There's probably more places to loot in this area that I've missed, you know, and I'm, I I'm, I look forward to hearing about it. But no, I'm joking. I'm making it seem like you guys are assholes and you've, like, never done this, like, ever. Um, like, I'm just, I'm just being an asshole. Because. Right, well, that's that marker done. Right, we have one more. Just on the way. And then Yen should be there. I might walk past her and just go in straight into the, in, you know, the wolf and whatever. No, oh, however, she might already be there. I can't remember. It's been a while. Gonna kill the kickismores. You mean the kikimoras? The kikismores? I don't know what he just was talking about. Oh, there's children down there. It's kind of creepy. What the hell is he doing? Why are you playing here? Hey, wolves. Get roll. Come on. People 
say that to you. Don't say it to your own kind. I'm just taking hits at this point, guys. I'm so much, I'm like way higher level than them. Like, the thing is, though, is I, I guess you could have done it an earlier level, like by accident. Well, I've restored the aisle, guys, already. Amazing. Tim, Jerry, and Bob are going to take it back over and then give it to a family and then never appear again. I didn't see any merchants at the other place. Um, I did have a look, but I didn't notice any. And I'm not sure if I can Reading even Gwent all of them. I don't think I even can Gwent the ones that I rescue. Uh, you know, I can sell this guy some of my crappy hide. I mean, hide's good. Oh, I can't sell it. You're a terrible merchant. I just Farewell. saved you. Take my hide. You were in the way. Look, I'm taking all your shit. Right, before I go and see Yen, I'm just going to run up here. I'm not sure if she's already up here, though. And I'm, Oh, no, she's down there. Yeah. I just want to get this in Wolf's clothing thing started before I, you know, go in there with Yen. You know, I'm not saying anything on Yen. Just she does seem to create a lot of enemies. So, um, you know, we'll be careful about that. Let's get this started. Priestesses. So I came about the contract. Why is no much prankings coming up? Hang on. Priestess. How are you? Greetings. Can I have a word? I am here to serve pilgrims who have come to venerate the goddess. Mine's more an earthly matter. What is it? Okay. Word is you've got a problem. Morkvarg. That's its name. Could tend to it for you. Do so, and you will greatly please the goddess. That's nice and all, but coin's what pleases me. You look the type. Fret not, I shall pay. But only if you rid us of Morkvarg, once and for all. There have been those who have killed Morkvarg, but a curse has brought him back each time. Okay, the curse. Tell me about it. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Okay, Morkvarg, what are we talking about? Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what, who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, Murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. All right, mind if I ask you something else? Uh, do I need to ask anything else? Uh. Okay. Could you be more specific? Monster can mean a lot of things these days. Folk have been known to call me that. I'm afraid I cannot tell you more, for I've never seen him myself, but. Hmm? You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. Okay, right, thank you. Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. I hope. I want to talk we to the the uh, in in the uh, I know I don't know it doesn't matter right. Got me eye on you. Ah. You're a you dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel haul you. Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf guardian dogs were to hunt us some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All right, ask away. In praise of Freya. The garden, what happened there? You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. 
apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Morkvarg? What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Hmm, didn't help the priestesses? Didn't help the priestesses? Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Okay, right, thanks. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Right, well, we talked to him Respect now, so I guess Witcher. we'll go and do the actual quest. Okay, right, well, I'll, I'll go to Yennefer and I'll see you guys there. Okay, Yennefer, I have arrived. Ho! Oh. Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. Uh, had something. I did, well, I had a lot of markers. I did also do the whole Ceres and Hjalmar. I've been, it's been a long time, but you know what? We'll, we'll be playful. We'll be, like, is that playful, right? Yeah. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next, you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Uh, good point. There are better times than others, though, I guess. I mean, I've already been here. Uh, let's pretend I wasn't here. <laughs> oh, God, guys, I'm doing a mission. I've, I've been recording for only four hours, and I'm finally doing a mission. I'm so happy. Oh, I love this game so much. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Okay, they say the Wild Hunt destroyed your village. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Yennefer, enough. Oh, I think we should say go on. You know, we, we got to know more. It's, it's for Siri, you know? Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neggy. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! 
Get to the point. No. Okay. Well, we had to know, all right? Uh, it's, you might be like, oh, so mean, but it's we got to know for Siri. You know, we've done so much, and she's still alive. we got to, you know, yeah. Okay. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. What was Siri doing here? Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And, and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska. Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. Craven. Who are we talking about? This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Okay, cowards don't usually fight monsters. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. It's difficult to respect laws that are like go and, go and do a suicide mission. It's like, okay. All right. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Okay, all right. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, let's carry on to the uh, garden. I almost went there earlier, accidentally. <laughs> like, I was very close. I was I was trying to get to a marker I missed. this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be. Is there some time? Yeah, and help me with this. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Hey, Geralt. Come we back. five minutes. I see a marker, Yen. Don't get between a man and his markers. It must be done. Okay. I didn't see this on the map. What is this? Huh. Trying to make me miss a marker. How dare they? <laughs> okay. I'm coming, Yen. It, it, <laughs> I had business. I hear wolves. My, my. That must be Morkvarg. Quite the appetite. Mm. Might even call it Wolven. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <laughs> Shake! 
Not, not again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Hmm. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. Okay. Oh, I like doing missions with Yen. God, it's been a long time. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. I mean, I don't think we should. <laughs> Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. See you later. Expected you to object. Um, I'll just say see you later. We'll be we'll be nice. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh come, I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. <laughs> it's so weird, like, considering how much they went through in the books, I guess, like, their relationship almost had, like, a, a micro-reset after the events of The Witcher 1 and 2. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Right, well, I, I know how to get to him, I'm pretty certain, I guess we'll... we'll... Light prints, Craven trod carefully. Mm-hmm. Do I have to examine every little bit? Because it goes right round, right? What's up, Wolf? I'm not even going to try and defend. I'm going to just take the hits. This is level 14 mission. Okay, keep going. No bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Well, we know they turn to is ash, it right? Raven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Mm. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Hmm. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around. Attacked. Okay, I might have to actually defend a little bit. There's a few of them. Ow. Craven's blood. Okay, so we're still following Craven. Good. Craven was injured. Started running. I'm trying to like investigate each bit as best I can. I think we've already investigated that. Okay. Hmm. Claw marks. Craven slammed the door in Morkvarg's face. Did you find something? A trail leads right to a locked door. I think you can get around it. Hmm. There's something down here. Morkvarg doesn't give up easily. Can I open the door? No, okay. I think I've got to go around, right? I, th I think I've investigated everything here. Okay. I think to go around, we have to go, like, right around, right? Okay, we'll go around. I think we have to go like right around, don't we? Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Hmm. Geralt, you're fine. Hang on, I can actually examine that. Lot 
lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. God, Geralt, Geralt has, you know, he's, he's, he doesn't get worried, does he? Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Okay, we'll do that in a second, Geralt. I just wanted to search some of this other stuff if I could. Um, okay. Apparently I can't. So I, I get to choose the gate with this. What am I trying to move? I just sort of random this normally. Oh, okay. We'll have a quick look under there first. Oh, I think I actually know where this leads. Does this just lead like straight up out? Yeah. Don't really want to just leave. I know there's a way we can like go under and stuff, so I'll do that obviously as well. Can I get up? Ugh, how do I get up? Just gotta go around. Hang on. Game, please don't make me go all the Okay. <laughs> Thank God. If I had to go all the way back around. Right, okay. Oh. So this one chooses. So I want to I want to choose the very end one because I want to have a look under there. Right, so that should move this one, right? Yeah, that was a big risk. Uh, I don't really want to have killer whale. Okay, I know. Yeah, I knew there was like this under bit. It's quite cool. Okay, we'll keep going. I, don't, I think you find like long claw under here. I can't remember. I think I know you found that at some point somewhere around here. I know I already found like a long claw earlier, but you know, so cool. Aha! We found a padlock key. Bones fell through the crevice years ago. And some bones. Some some more bones. I don't know. Why is that red? What the hell? I don't know. Maybe that's just part of that. Okay. I think we got everything right. I don't see anything else. I'm gonna go with yes. I know. I think we need that key for like to get into the house or something, or to get something in the house. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, keep going. Get back up to the top. I'm going to sort the other gate out. And then finally, we'll continue. Okay. Good. Right, I'm glad I've done that. Okay. Uh, this one activates them, right? Does this one change them? So we want to do that one now. So, which one did I open? Oh, okay, hang on. Oh yeah, I gotta go like right back around, I guess. Boom. Okay, carry on. Ho. Huh. Right. We made it somewhere. Now, I think we have to go into the I'll I'll have a I'll explore where we were before just to try and get that bit of dialogue. Craven's blood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, down there's where we gotta yeah. Prince lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Hmm. Right, well we'll have a look in there in a minute. We gotta go right over here first. Oh. oh you know what actually? Yeah. Good. Morkvark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Hmm. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Markvark doesn't devour his victims. Strange. 
That's a leg. It always throws back. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. Sure. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain uh, and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. Uh, my mouth burned uh, like following fire as if all inside me was torn felt I would die but I, I did it and then I shredded them, dashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. Uh. Story have a point, expecting pity. Um, hmm. Expect me to pity you. No, I want you. To understand, you cannot kill me, you cannot stop me, I'll not be bound, break any fetters, the curse, free me, or I'll return to get you again. Ow. No healing for you. Sorry, Mockbug. Willing to talk now? Only now can I. So much is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Look for Craven. Finish Mark Vargal. Um. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Uh, looted. <laughs> Raided, drunk most away, but all but one. Uh, true treasure uh, hid away, yours. Just help me. Looking for Craven. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Those who come 
rarely introduce themselves. <laughs> what did he look like? <laughs> no idea. Then I cannot help you. I've shredded our belly. Don't like being a werewolf? So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink, yet I bloody live in Rome and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns my throat. Throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. <sighs> See what I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna help him out. I'm probably gonna, I don't really think he deserves, you know, anything, but you know, this is pretty bad. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Uh, okay, farewell. Farewell. See you soon. Right. Hey, I got all the stuff though. Right, I'm gonna set it today. Uh, and then I'll find Craven, I guess. I want to finish this mission, guys. I've been recording for like four hours, 15 minutes now, but it's fine. I know I'm gonna be cutting a lot out with those markers, because bloody hell. So it's not too much of a. Oh! Again? I just want to get as much damage as possible, really. Oh, apologies for the the moon the entire time he was talking. Can't really do much about that. Um, I shouldn't have probably used it, to be honest. All right, fuck off, Mogbog. In the middle of something here. I will save you, I promise, okay? Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Uh, farewell again. Fa can I loot him again? That'd be kind of funny. Oh my god, I can loot him again? Really? Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go. Roots. Let it begin. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, Scared me. Sorry, I mean. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. We'll do. I'm just having a look around first. Can't see anything. Craven's blood. More blood, huh? Okay, let's continue. Ho. Oh. Any chests in here? There he is, but one of Freya's priestesses. No signs of violence. Must have died of hunger a while ago. Waited a long time for death to come. It's a shame. Oh, was Craven stuck in there? Did it was he writing like markers on the walls, or was that the priestess? Do you think? I don't know. Right. Oh no, it looked like Craven, but he just died here, of blood loss. Damn, dead. Has been for a while. Yen found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine. Scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Um, what's the point? I'm guessing you have a plan. 
Hmm, well, yeah, I'm guessing. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Oof. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Um, sorry. No need ingredients for the spell. Black magic's no joke. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Siri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Okay. Need any ingredients for the spell? Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. Fine, let's get to work. Just thinking about the consequences. I think in this case, I'm going to have to disagree and sort of say this to her, which might be... I just, you know... I'm not poking holes, just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Giving them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Siri is short on time. Hmm. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. of Lofferton. No, I... We're looking for Siri. You died in battle. You've recovered your honor. I, I kind of do want to say that. You know... You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She, she's cursed me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak. No. Speak.
us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Was I out long? How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. What? You undress me? Yeah, a whole lot. Um... I think Siri would actually say that. <laughs> like, genuinely. What's this? Did you undress me? I, I, I had no choice. Soaked through you were, and I had to see if you had any wounds that needed tending. Mm hmm And if my breasts needed smearing with socks tallow? Nay, nay, th that was mum and sis. I, I'd never dare. I swear. On my honour. <laughs> Easy. I believe you. Help me up. Where is my companion? And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Hmm. Help me up. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I feel fine now. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey, fine. You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I must get to Drowned Dead Rock. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. Ah, oh, playing a Siri again. That man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. I'm very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle my whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Oh, it's so weird. I haven't played a Siri. Like, when, when was the last time? Novigrad? <laughs> I don't even know. Like, like, when Dandelion was telling us about it? Was that the last time? I think it was. Like, oh my god, this feels weird. It's like I'm not Geralt right now. Oh, odd. Oh, I know what's coming up. I'm gonna have to get some uh, some lovely editing in. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, right. I'm gonna try and avoid as best I can anything 
but obviously some is unavoidable. Right. All right. In you go and get out of those rags. All of them. I should think so. Hmm. Okay. This is. So anyway, um, guys watching, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Okay. Undress. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure we actually can't wear the towel or then we don't get a certain dialogue option I really want to get because it's to do with the books. And this is genuine. I would want to wear the towel because it lessens my editing, but I've um, I've got to um, not wear the towel, annoyingly. Okay. Ugh, great. Okay. That's good. Uh, I'm getting goose pimples. Yep. Me too. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mom, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? That a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? I got it for someone special who's dead now. Well, that's the truth, isn't it? Uh, for those of you who don't know, it was a tattoo Siri got for a... Well, when she was in the Rats with a girl called Missile. And they, I think they both got one. Um, it was a whole thing. It's like a matching thing. I don't, I can't really get into it now, but it's, it's really interesting. And I'll probably do something about it in the future, to be honest. It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off, but the cruel sea swallowed him. <sighs> Close. Eh, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? Um. Mm. You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Uh, you know what? We're gonna like spread false information just in case the wild hunt comes. So you know what? Yeah, of course. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd it break Skjall's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skjall? He's not half bad. <laughs> Seems nice. To tell the truth, I prefer women. Well, Siri was kind of like, she sort of, she likes both, right? From what I gather from the books. Um, she had the thing with Missile, and then she had with a few of the guys throughout the books, here and there. Um, I'm going to go with Seems Nice. It's like the middle option, isn't it? Well, he seems nice. Oh, oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over, and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofoten groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. Sure. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Huh. Fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the, the, the massive amount of editing I'm going to have to do inevitably. Okay. Okay. Cold. Yay, swimming. I love swimming. Right, am I have I been in long, long enough? I have to avoid any up. 
up. <laughs> Please let me up. Oh, God, let me up. Guys, for anyone wondering, it's because I have to mask all of this. Okay, we've done every extra thing. Ho. Huh. Dress and leave. Hey, I got all my clothes. Oh, God, I was just, just thought again. Okay. Okay, right, let's go. Join Scout at the stables. Will do. Oh, it's nice not to have to, like, turn my camera in any certain way now to avoid mass editing. Right, let's go and see Skull in the stable. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Uh... Yeah, I don't have time. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry, but I can't bring myself to chat right now. Right. Besides, it's not important. I'll take Njord. You can write Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. Other shit. It's hard to fight them when you're lower level. Hang on. God damn it. That move is such bullshit. Stop it. Okay, that, that move is just trash. God, these guys are annoying. Yeah, don't tell me again, Skull. What? What was that? The wild hunt. Ragnarok. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. Uh, thanks, Skull. What about your family? Uh. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! Ride, I will ride Don't with you, Scout. Wait, that's not... I, I can't even pretend to be Siri. <laughs> I can't... Like, like, I literally can't even... Yeah, I'll... Um... Faster. Faster, you know what? I'm riding up. technically with Siri, so I'll take that. I need to avoid those fuckers. Right, because they, they can actually do a lot of damage if you're not careful. <laughs> Ah, leave me alone, you goddamn wild hunt. Sword back in. I don't need you. We just need to focus on riding. Okay. Oof, Jesus. Those things are so hard to avoid, you know? It's coming. Ugh. Oh, my stamina. What is this trash horse? Skull, you could have got me a better saddle. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, 
became of that creature? Where is he? Stop! <laughs> what? I saw him! And... What happened to the garden? How are you feeling? I'm gonna say how are you feeling. Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. Oh God, I I don't really want to say this, but it's like an extra dialogue thing. <sighs> Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He. That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Hmm. What happened to the garden? What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell. It requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Geralt, I know we should talk. But not here, alright? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We have every right to be furious. Furious! And you, you will pay for this. We had no choice. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. We know Ciri's on Skelliger. Uh, yeah, sure. Didn't learn much, though. Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skelliger anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. The ugly creature is linked to Ciri somehow. Key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something. Or someone who looked just like that. Where? 
in Velen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. What now? What did you want to say? I'll say that. You were going to ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Okay, what now? Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine, see you in Larvik. Need a bit of time, gotta to tend to something first. Yeah. Fine, Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Okay, amazing. Awesome. I'm just going to um, see Yennefer ride off and boom. That's amazing. Amazing. I'm really happy I managed to do that quest despite everything. Jesus Christ, guys. Right, guys. Well, I'm going to end today's Witcher part there. I've been recording for, you, you're going to be surprised, five hours. <laughs> Those markers took a goddamn long time to do. <laughs> But no, I'm done now, guys. I've had a really good time today. I've basically recorded two parts and a bit almost in one, so I'm going to have to condense this a lot. I might even remove some of the markers because they're so similar. But yeah, I've had a good time. It's been really good. Genuinely, I'm, I'm actually like, I've had such a good time. It's been really, really fun. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's Witcher part. Be sure to like if you want to see this series continue. I'd also appreciate liking for my, my sheer effort with the goddamn Marcus. But yeah, I'll come back next time and finish off the sh in Wolf's Clothing quest. I just don't think I should do it now because it'll take a bit longer and I've been here for so long. But yeah, thank you for watching anyway. Also, thanks to everyone that subscribed. Be sure to go and follow me on Twitter. And as always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing. I'm glad to put your names at the end of all these videos. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. And I hope you've all enjoyed and um yeah i'll see you in the next one have an awesome rest of the week